go tiptoe around the issues. Remember, we don't do what it should have, could have, what up in here. Why would you a middle dude turn? Yeah! Let's go! We ain't gonna tip the toe. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Larry. This is the Dixon Way, all about the A-Sports Talk. We give you that fire commentary of all our favorite sports teams, Hawks, Braves, Falcons, and the Dream. So welcome to the um, stream, guys. We about to kick this off. We got a... Uh... We got the Braves visiting Boston. So let's go. Hey. What's up, B? I see you on Twitch. Appreciate you coming through, bro. Welcome to the Dixway family on Twitch. Go get on that Dixway train, show. Oh, there we go. There we go. I saw a rain delay. Are you kidding me, bro? Here we go again. Here we go again. Yo, the Boston Red Sox got an advertisement on they um tart. Hey son. Wow. What's up, John Brooks in the building first with the first check. I see you, John Brooks. Hold up. my people out of TikTok world. How y'all doing? Beast Bay. What's going on, Beast Bay? I see you. Yeah, rain delay. I see that, bro. Yeah, Jalen Brown got the bag. Jalen Brown got the bag. Five years, 304 million. Yes, sir. He got the bag. And, and to be honest, Boston couldn't afford to lose him. You feel me? So, it kind of is what it is. Congratulations to the young man on receiving the bag. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Oh, goodness. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's better. That's better. That's better. What's going on, y'all? How y'all doing, man? Welcome to the stream. Now Tatum in next year. Yeah. Yeah, you know Tatum gonna get that super max. Yeah, Tatum gonna get that super max max. Yeah, uh Brunny got a Brunny had a heart attack. So uh thoughts and prayers to Brunny James and the James family, man. Hopefully that everything's okay. And uh Hoping for a speedy recovery for the young man. Again, um, he was working out at his college, UCLA, word on the street is, so. So, yeah. Ben Ship, how you doing, man? Welcome to the stream on TikTok, I see. I see you. What up, B? I see you on Twitch. What up, fam? What's going on with you? Yeah, I had a rough day on, on Street Fighter today, bro. It was rough. Ain't no score, Koya. The score is rain delay. That's the score. But it looked like a whole bunch of people were out and about. You know what I'm saying? No one's hiding. And it looked like the clouds are clearing up. So hopefully this will be done real quick, to be honest. Well, I appreciate you coming through. A queen is him, as always. Yeah, it's a rain delay. Yeah, next weekend is preseason football, but guess what? In under 48 hours, we will be live at Falcon Training Camp. Make sure you tune in. Make sure you tell your friends, your family. Your brothers and sisters, tell them that um, the Dixon Way gonna be at Falcon Training Camp, bright and early. 
So check us out. Oh yeah, sorry, Beast Babe. We won't be on um TikTok though. We'll just be on YouTube and Twitch, so. Man, Luke is so good in Street Fighter 4. I mean, 5, 6, whatever it is, man. Luke is way better than Blanca, in my opinion. Justin Herbert signed a five-year, $215 million, um extension for San Diego. Oh, wow. Justin Herbert just got the bag, a.k.a. Matt Ryan 2.0. Gonna have a lot of stats. I don't know how good he gonna be. In the clutch, though. But he got a lot of talent. He got a lot of arm talent. Yeah, that's a big deal right there. I might have to uh, put that up. Post that up. All right, Beach Bay. Appreciate you. I ain't see it pop up yet, so as soon as I see it pop up, then I give you that train. That's not really a bad thing, man. You can be very good, but not great. You know what I'm saying? That's what Matt Ryan was. He was very good, not great. Best quarterback in Falcon history. He gonna have to get in the Hall of Fame like Fred McGriff. A long time after he retired, but he'll get in there. He got the numbers. He just got two of the worst losses in NFL history. One with the Falcon and one with the Colts last season. So That might hold him out, you know what I'm saying? But I think overall, if Julio get in, as long as Julio like campaign for him, he'll get in. Man, thank all of you guys coming in. Right now, we got a rain delay. But when they show the weather, look pretty clear to me. This look partly cloudy, unless it's about the rain. What's up, Kenny? How you doing on TikTok? Welcome to the stream. Sound up for you. What's up, bro? Ed Meister. Uh, we don't have neither one here in the A. So, and the only one I've ever had was in and out when I visited visit the West Coast. Never had a Whataburger, so it is what it is. I say in and out. Actually, I say Carl Jr. over both. Brian McDonough, what's going on? How you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. It's time for you. Welcome back. Yeah, the crowds is up. I mean, they showing like the crowd at Fenway and people aren't running and hiding. So either the rain hasn't started yet or it finished and they just waiting to make sure that lightning is gone. What's going on, Magnificent Mod? Magic Man said rain delay. We get out of there and play. Also, cheers. Good evening, lad. What's up, Magic Man? Uh, I don't think baseball is going to go and play like they did at the Open Championship. They were playing in a torrential rain for two straight days in golf. That was crazy. Forever said, Carl Jr. is trash. Not the ones we... Well, we got Hardys over here, but Hardys don't taste like Carl Jr. So when I go to the West Coast, I get some Carl Jr. You know what I'm saying? Carl Jr. was... Bomb for me. Maybe I went to the right one. I don't know. In Vegas, that is. Vegas and... Did we go in L.A. or San Diego? I think we went in San Diego. So maybe we went to the good ones. You feel me? Um, Tayden, what's going on? Oh, I see you, Beach Bay. There you go. Get on that Dixon Way train, man. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, Beach Bay. Uh, UST, what's going on, UST? Welcome back to the stream. Hey, guys, you want some good old commentary, too? Check out UST. They got some good content. You, you.
No, nah, they ain't saying nothing about first pitch right now. It's just rain delay. I will hope. Let me turn up the volume a little bit so I can hear, but you guys can't. Yeah, right now, uh, we're on rain delay, but it doesn't look like it's raining there. So I don't know why we're on rain delay. Wrap it up. Wrap that tarp up. Let's get, let's play ball, man. As Magic Man said, alert, alert. PSA alert. Guys, you want to help us get out in the algorithm? You want this channel to grow? Do you want us to replace Pat McAfee? Then please hit that like button. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell or follow, depending on what platform you're on. Help us out, man. Help us get in the algorithm. This is the distant way. All about the A-Sports Talk. We give you that fire commentary of all our favorite sports team in the ATL. Braves, Hawks, Falcons, and sprinkling in a little um, dream, too. So, um, yeah, we're in a rain delay right now. I wish they would just go ahead and roll that tarp up because there ain't no rain happening right now. For real, man, Braves do stay on rain delay. Rain be following. Dean Grogu, that's right. Correct name, Dean Grogu. Not Baby Yoda. Great, great comment. Way to know your um, Star Wars, bro. Appreciate you coming through. Yep, yep. We ain't going to ESPN. We staying right here. Get all the sponsors and stuff to back us. Then boom. Yeah, let's go. All right, it says 7.30 to 7.55. Okay, well, it ain't going to be 7.30 because they haven't even got the little roller thing up to roll up the tarp. It takes them about 10, 15 minutes to roll that thing up and then put it in its proper place. And that depends on if they even um, line the field. And from glance, I don't know if they lined the field yet. So they got to line the field. That's another 30 minutes. What up, Eli? How you doing, man? Welcome back to the stream on TikTok. I see your fam. That sounded for you. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, no. Come on, Brian. Don't tell me that. Brian, don't do me like that, bro. Right now, man, it's people in the stands. They ain't scattering like roaches. And I don't see no rain. Now, unless it's lightning in the area, we might be able to get five in there. But, Brian, I mean, heck. I might go to uh, Weather Channel myself. Frankie said he called a Sean Murphy home run. I hope so, especially if we actually get to play. I say run or go over the big monster. Oh, yeah, isn't it? Uh, it's the United versus Miami, right? Beach Bay? It's the United versus... Uh, it's a lot of games on. Like, you got the um, United versus Miami, and then the Dream are playing against. Hold up. Let me go ahead and check right now. Uh, but the Dream supposed to come on the same. Yeah, the Merc. I mean, the Sun. No, the Mercury. The Mercury. The Mercury. Yeah. Yeah, Charlie Morton's supposed to pitch today. Charlie Morton is supposed to pitch today. Supposed to. 
All right, so uh, who you guys football team? Who do you guys represent in football? And when did your uh, training camp start? Or did it already start? I know Ricky's already reported, but again, when did your veterans uh, report? Beast Bay says steal is tomorrow. All right, that's what's up. I saw that earlier, Magic Man. Magic Man said, Red Sox rumor. Ray's interested in Adam Duvall trade will be the third stint with the ATL. Yeah, I heard that earlier today. He's trying to round the whole gang up. Let's go get uh, Jorge Soler. Why don't we go get him back too? Go back and get Freddie. Let's go get the whole um championship team lima how you doing on TikTok? welcome to the stream say you are um atl friend from boys or idaho idaho okay cool i don't see any rain and how many fans are in the stands I can't imagine them just sitting through the rain like that. I mean, they could. Boston fans are hardcore, but I don't know about that. Hold up, they traded Kiki? Oh, wow. The Red Sox are in full tank mode. Wow, they traded Kiki. Wow. For the Dodgers. Why the Dodgers need more? Dodgers really want an all-star team, right? What up, Wilson? I see you. What up, fam? Yep, yep. You know it's Falcon season coming up, bro. We in there, man. All right, all right. That's what's up. Yep, yep. All right, Red Sox and two closers and cast for Kiki. Okay. Eddie Pritchard said, rise up, rise up, brother, I see you. Welcome to the stream on TikTok. That sounded for you. Oh, new Drake album coming out. Polo Crew. Okay, that's what's up. Wonder who we're going to have on the album. The Red Sox are interested in Shohei. I think every team that's playing baseball are interested in Shohei. But can they afford him? Boston would pay him, though. Boston would definitely pay him. Magic Man says 16 days. Let's get that alert on YouTube for football preseason. 16 days, eight hours till the Falcons preseason begins versus the fans, the Dolphins. Yep, yep. Red Sox are two, two and a half games behind the last West Coast spot. Okay. Yeah, I know it's Falcon Pros. Yeah, this this year did burn through, man. I mean, it seemed like baseball just started. Nah, not so much, man. It's been a lot of baseball. I appreciate everybody coming through, bro. 
Race, baseball is a marathon, not a sprint. Because really and truthfully, we're talking about basketball, they stretch it out. Baseball, you get one day, day off a week. Braves looking good, man. Best team in baseball. We got a shaky bullpen, but we got amazing offense. It's like the, the reverse of the 90s Braves. When the 90s Braves had great pitching and situational hitting, the hitting was good, but not as good as this team. This team right here, defensively, is great. I mean, offensively, defense. Well, lately the defense has been kind of slacking, but offensively, it's a great offense. Might be the best offensive um, Braves team of all time. How do I feel about the in-season tournament? Uh, well, let's see what happens. I don't want nothing to take away from the regular season. Now, dang on sure don't want to see anyone hurt in some meaningless tournament in the middle of the season. You going to get middle of the season rings? I know you're going to get a trophy. Are you going to get rings too? With a middle of the season champs? What's up, Daniel Barry? How you doing on YouTube? Welcome back to the stream. I see you. Anything's possible about going to the World Series, but they definitely need bullpen help. They just picked up about three um, arms in the bullpen, but nothing big, you know what I'm saying? Just some arms that hopefully can turn it around playing on a better team. You know, we got the best guy was out of Colorado, Peterson, and hopefully we're hoping that he'll do better not being in mile high, but his ERA is almost six. So I don't know. We'll see. E490 said, Braves not playing like they were before the All-Star break. That's true. That's true. Nah, the Oreo's not the best team. But we don't match up with them again, so hopefully we can see them in the uh, World Series. CP is a slash. He's a wide, re a wide re running back. <laughs> wide receiver and running back. He's a WB. A wide back. Yeah, that's what he is. Yeah, I don't understand the midseason tournament either. I mean... Basketball is in soccer. I don't get it. Oh no, Baltimore's playing great. They got a lot of young talent. I mean, that team's totally different now than when we faced, faced them at the beginning of the season, so. Drew Putnam, what's going on? Said, go dirty birds. Bijan to the moon. That's right. Super Bijan. He can't make it to the moon because he's Super Bijan. Mm. We'll see. A lot of people were saying Tampa Bay was better than the Braves before we played them. So, I still like my Braves. But, yeah, we do got some things to tighten up, for real, for real. Uh, Georgia Bear right here, bro. He ain't never hibernating. He always here. 
I just don't have the um, wide shot. You get to see him better when me and Sean on the couch because it's a wider shot. You feel me? Nah, uh, Georgia Bear chilling. Always. Chilling like a villain. Say the end game tournament would be a part of the A2 game schedule. Yeah, they did say that, but here's the thing. You're trying to do the in-game schedule to chalk up more excitement, but you're going to do it around Christmas time, and that's when people start watching anyway. So what is the, what is the point? Is the championship going to be on Christmas? Is that how they're going to set it up? I don't know. We'll see. We will see. Matt Ryan? Yeah, Matt Ryan's the best quarterback in Falcon history. Can't even be debated. The dogs are actually stacked for this season. I mean, the dogs, they reload, bro. You know, the dogs don't, the dogs reload. Um, They got a favorable, what, well, schedule this season? Hardest ma uh, matchup is probably Kentucky and Ole Miss. Boss Move said, uh, the Falcons upset me every year. I understand, man, if you're passionate about your team and they don't perform the way you want them to, I understand. But, man, hey, at the beginning of the season, everybody's 0-0 and hope springs eternal. You know what I'm saying? Welcome to the stream, man. Let me give you that sound of boss moves. Repeat. Oh, yeah. I mean, we, we got three of them things. Hold, we're going to hold three of them things up, man. Plain and simple. Oh, how many teams are, uh, Magic Man said, how many teams are actually going to push for the trophy? The chip is the goal, and low management be a thing yeah most things will not care about the trophy we're gonna see man it's gonna be funny if you see somebody low manage in the mid-season tournament that's gonna be crazy that's gonna give you an indication that no one cares Oh, I think they're going to keep the, uh, yeah, they're going to have eight bowl games. Oh, yeah, I'm ready for it. I mean, college football been piddling around so much. It should have been did it, so that's fine. More revenue for them. That NIL going to get real sticky, though. And, um... EA Sports is in a battle with with them right now. They didn't even think about the NIL. Now that name and likeness, boy, some serious. Tennessee got something to say about three P. Okay, we'll see. We both got um new quarterback, so. We'll see. Should be a good game. We'll be in Tennessee. We not expected to um, allow y'all to beat us like y'all beat Bama. You know what I'm saying? Barely beat them by a field goal. You know what I'm saying? That, that's not going to happen with us. But it definitely should be a good game. I can't wait for that game.
All right, but I mean, if you put them on an official injury report, what can the NBA do? They can't force you to play your star if he's actually got a nicked up, like little nicks and stuff like that. They can't do that, man. All the team had to say is he got a um, a deep thigh bruise and he don't have to play. You know what I'm saying? They can't really regulate it. Magic Man said the Big Ten and the SEC run college football right now. Yeah. Magic Man said, I hate the name Big Ten. Literally makes no sense no more. Yeah, especially when you got on teams and USC and UCLA coming in next. We still in this rain out, man. Always a rain out. Always a rain out. What we call is um, basketball and baseball have preseason games, but not football. Uh, Trevor. No, Trevor, he, I thought he recovered, Trevor. Babe, why just say it in the chat? Come on, say that Brunny, say R.I.P. Brunny. Somebody say in the chat, R.I.P. No, Brunny. Yeah, he out of ICU, man. He made, yeah, he got out of ICU, man. Also, in prayers to the um, James family. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Texas and Sooners join the SEC. Uh, I think Texas is going to go to the West and the Sooners are going to come to the East. I want the Longhorns in the East, though, to be honest. But I think they're getting rid of uh, divisions. I think once Texas and Oklahoma get here, they're getting rid of divisions. Don't quote me on that, but I think they're getting rid of divisions when, when Texas and Oklahoma get. It's just a, it's just going to be the two best records. I don't like that, to be honest. I like the divisions. And if it's two more teams coming in, split them up. Make, you know what I'm saying, since Texas and Oklahoma always play each other, Make that the inner conference game for each year. Like, why is that so hard? You said the Falcons should sign Justin Hudson. Do I think that um, the Falcons reached on Bajan Robinson? That's what they wanted. I mean, I I didn't think that's a reach. He was a Best running back in the draft. I just don't, that was just a need we really didn't need, you know. We had a 1,100-yard rusher. But, I mean, but John supposed to be a transcendent player. So, let's hope he is. What's up, Breezy? How you doing on TikTok? I see you, fam. What's time for you? Yeah, I saw Nick Saban say he, Nick Saban said he feel like he 38. Mike McAllister said, why not a central division? Because they would have to break up Alabama and Auburn. And now they're not going to do that. That's why. If they made three divisions. I just think they need to make just take one in each, put one in the West and one in the East. Unless Oklahoma and Texas said, we coming, but we got to have our game. We got to have the Red River shootout. So if that's the case, then that's why they're not going to go in um, individuals anymore. But I, I personally want them to go to divisions. 
keep the division, excuse me. What's up, Jonathan Bowen? How you doing, fam? Welcome back to the stream. Word on the street is they were supposed to start between 7.30 and 7.55. That's word on the street, but right now, I'm looking at this tarp in Boston, and they got some kind of advertisement on it, and the grounds crew are not rolling it up yet. No word on them. Uh, no word on them even lining it yet. I don't even know if they line or put the bases out yet. That take 30 minutes. So, like always, guys, we're going to hang around. Give it a good hour. You know. And see if they make it shake. If not, then. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. Nick is 70, 71. Yeah, see what said? Like, Bama and Auburn will have to stay in the same division. Well, you got Texas, Oklahoma coming, and you know they want to stay in the same division. You know? They want to have a Red River shootout, and you can have that. There's always games that you play between divisions, you know what I'm saying? Now they do rotate. I mean they can all they can make an exception and always have um uh, I think Georgia always play Auburn. In the SEC I think Georgia always plays Auburn and uh and Georgia Tech in the ACC. South Carolina and Clemson always play every year. They're not even the same division or conference. They ain't even the same conference. Yeah, I get you, Beach Bay. That's a good comment. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, they can make plans. They just have one less um, out of conference game, but they can do it. And just like Magic Man said, guys, please hit that like button. Share this stream out to the multiverse. Subscribe or follow, depending on what platform you're on. And please hit the notification bell if you're on YouTube. Ding, ding. You get all our latest videos, man. This is the Dixon Way, all about the age sports talk. We in the rain delay right now. We're supposed to be watching Braves versus Red Sox. Give me that fire commentary when we can. The Vols always play Bama, yeah, and it's usually early in the season, too. So, yeah, they can make it, they can make it work now. They can definitely make it work. But always, you want to get that money. You want to get certain teams in certain um, arenas. And once you start fixing these teams that have to play them, you add more and more teams, some teams never get in the rotation. You know, it's like they're not even in. You feel me? Like, uh, how many times have the Bulldogs played Texas A and M since they've been in the um league? I mean, I know they have. They played more Missouri than Texas A and M, to be honest. That's caught coming off the dome. I know Missouri is actually in the east. And Texas A and M is in the west. But still. In my opinion in my opinion, since Texas A and M either they move Texas A and M to the east or they move Texas and drop Texas in the east. And leave Oklahoma in the west. Either way, barbecue chicken alert. I'm not worried about nam one of them. Beach Bay said now the Red Sox pay saying 815 to 845. I think it's going to be a double hitter, to be honest. They ain't rolled it out yet. It, but the thing is, 
I don't see it raining. Like, it don't look like it's raining to me. But it is a rain delay. And there's a lot of Boston fans sitting in the um, stands. Actually, it do look like it cleared out a little bit. Maybe those guys had rain slickers on. So. I don't know, but we're going about to 18. I feel you on the three divisions, but again, traditional rivals are going to have to play each other. I don't think they want to go to three divisions. I think they want, I don't think they want to make up a central division. Because Central will be Arkansas, both Texas A&M, Texas, Oklahoma. Uh, all right, so you have, in the East, you have Georgia, Florida. See, here's the thing. If you can convince the Bama and Auburn people to go in different divisions just to say, no, nah, they're not going to do that because, because Florida and Georgia got to be in the same. Like, that's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't know, man. Just add one other team to another and keep it pushing, to be honest. The Pac-12, um, they're swallowing up. Who did they swallow up? I think they getting a – I think they – no, the – the Big 12 is about to dissolve. I think they're getting two Big 12 teams. Is it TCU and Baylor going to um, Pac-12? Hey, son. Two teams are leaving the Pac-12, uh, the Big 12, and going to the Pac-12, from my understanding. Yeah, it does make sense. I'm not going to debate you if it don't, if it makes sense or not. I'm just saying that I don't think they want to do that. I think they'll go to no divisions. They're just going to pick the two best teams. But then again, you know, what if it's two people that traditionally in the East and they don't play anyone in the West? You see what I'm saying? Like it, it, Three divisions will make it so much simpler and easier, but I don't know. We ain't talking about hook 'em horn. <laughs> I don't I don't know if you want these problems. Y'all gonna find out the hard way. BYU, Cincy, and Houston are joining the Big Twelve. Hmm. Big 12, definitely. Okay, so Cincinnati is leaving. Um, hey, thank you, son. Thank you. Tulane joining the Pac-12. Oh, wow. Tulane? Yeah, Pac-12. I don't know. Uh, Pac-12 better to try to get Boise State or something. McAllister, they're not going to play more games outside of the conference. They're not. They're going to play these cupcakes. Nobody's going to schedule three hard games out of conference when you got to play in conference in the SEC. It's not going to happen, bro. He was talking about Georgia's schedule this season. You got to look at the past three, four seasons. When they won back-to-back, -back, they started off non-conference with top five teams each year. We ain't lost a game in two years. So,
What are you watching, son? What are you trying to pull me to see? Oh, it's Dumbo jumping. It's Dumbo? Okay. Yeah, it's a rain delay, Glenn. I mean, the only bad thing about the Super Teams, man, a lot of people don't like seeing these. Uh, like, come back, please. Come on. A lot of people don't like seeing the lower-level teams play against the big schools, but people don't look at it like this, man. Those games be funding certain programs. You know what I'm saying? Well, it all depends, though. But Dion broke it down. He was like, how much you got to spend to get to these big games? You spend more money trying to get there and charter your team and hotel and all that than the money you make. And then if you get real good, they don't even want to schedule it. So, yeah. Look. Larry, Larry, calm down, son. Larry. Larry, come in. Give me five. Give me five. Oh, you definitely not getting no, no, uh, Dunkin' Donuts. No, no. No, no, you can't. Oh, yeah, it's definitely about the money. Oh, it's always come down to money. Why do you think they're adding, if it was all about the collegiate amateurism, they wouldn't have made a playoff. It would still be like it was before. These bowl games would be localized, and, they, and the polls wouldn't mean so much. I mean, they got the regular polls, and then they got the college football playoff poll. It's all about money. Places like App State can play every SEC school. Hey. <laughs> NFL should uh, have Miami, Tampa Bay, Jacksonville, Atlanta, New Orleans in the South. Now, look, the reason why they got Miami in the, uh, in the East is kind of that traditional thing what they used to do back in the day. Remember that Atlanta and New Orleans were a part of the NFC West back in the day. Which made absolutely no sense. Well, it did make sense because you had San Francisco that wasn't a warm weather team. Hey, what's up? Hey. I mean, it's kind of warm, but not... It get kind of cold there, so they needed a place to go that was warm weather. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with the uh, NFC East, when Tampa Bay was in the NFC East before. So when they changed divisions, it made more sense now. There's not a team in the NFC West. I mean, you got Carolina. This Miami is the, hey, let us get warm in Miami for the New Yorks. I mean, excuse me. Yeah, the Jets. And Buffalo. You know what I'm saying? But the cold weather teams can play in warm for some time. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's all it is. Really down uh, one and two to Miami. Okay. Where the AFC? I mean, they could put Tampa in 
in the AFC, but I mean, they got three teams in Florida. You know, they got Jacksonville. It's just all about where the team's at, man. Not too many central teams in the first place, to be honest, in the AFC. That's why they threw um, Jacksonville in there. I think they're not moving Miami because Miami won the, uh, well, it's not an original team, but it's older than the Falcons. So. Nah, they ain't started yet, man. Uh, we got a little bit. We got about, what, 10 more minutes? And then I'm about to chunk the deuces. But I appreciate all you guys coming through. Rain delay, rain delay. Just need more than uh, Rogers. I don't know, Blake Battle. I appreciate you coming through, man. Appreciate that comment. I remember Seattle Seahawks were in the AFC before. I don't think they want to change a team like the Dolphins to the NFC when they won AFC championships. I think they, before, beforehand, Seattle never won a championship before they went from the AFC to the NFC. So you're not taking a team that actually won a championship and moving them to another conference. You know what I'm saying? I think that's the logic of what they're doing. Now that Tampa Bay has won the championship, I don't expect them to ever move them from the NFC. Now, if you want to say Carolina Panthers, swap out the Carolina Panthers with, now I can understand that, and with Miami, that could work. That could work. Better team, um, 98 Falcons. 98 Falcons was the best Falcon team ever. But they were balanced. Like uh, the, that season, the Minnesota Vikings set the all-time offensive record for offense that season. Broke the record, but the Falcons right behind them. And the Falcons broke the previous record also. So both of those teams broke the previous offensive record. It's just when you had Randy Moss and Chris Carter and Robert Smith and Randall Cunningham, no one really talked about the Falcon offense. You had Jamal Anderson, you had an old Chris Chandler, you know what I'm saying? You had a uh, OJ Santiago, you had a defense that nobody knew about except for Falcon fans, led by Jesse Tuckle and Chuck Smith. You know what I'm saying? Like, I always think back, like, if the Falcons would have paid Dion, if the Falcons would have gave Dion a five-year deal, five or six-year deal, and not let him walk and go to San Francisco. <laughs> We would have won the championship easy in 98. We would have won the championship easy. What's up, Oakland Raider? I see you, man. Welcome to the stream. I see you, man. Welcome back. Long time no see. Yeah, they had Jamal Anderson. Jamal Anderson ran it uh, 305 carries. What did he have, like, I had to go back and look at that season, man. He had, like, over, I think he had over 1,400 yards. Jamal Anderson was a beast. Man, if Jamal Anderson wouldn't have hurt his knee, bro, oh, my goodness. But Jamal Anderson was doing so good in the run and shoot. And then Dan Reeves come and put in the traditional two-back system 
and he just took off. Uh, Mike, who let Dion go? Now, uh, Jerry Glanville said he didn't, but yeah, he did. Magic Man, if we had Deion Sanders out there with the defense we had, that's the best defense in Falcon history. That was bothered by Eugene Robinson, you know, the things he did on Biscayne Boulevard. And people try to say, oh, man, that didn't distract us. You telling me this man up here arguing with his wife through the wee hours of the morning on the same floor, everybody else, they didn't hear that? On news, on Sports Center, they didn't see that? Come on, man. It was before the internet, but that was all over everything. Eugene Robinson. And he was a team leader. Just one, um, what? Whatever, like, best, you know, humanitarian player in the NFL that season. And then got a distraction. What up, Smitty? I see you on TikTok. What up, fam? Oh, yeah. Tell him, Smitty. Man, we had Dion in 98. It's a wrap, bro. I don't care. John Elway got TD. Hootie, Shannon Sharp, Unk, none of them. He's shutting it down, bro. Y'all understand. Y'all really must don't understand, man. Like, all that stuff that Dion did to shut down the whole side of the field for um, basically from the Falcons until he went to San Francisco and then he went to Cowboys. Won a championship there in 95. Come on, man. You got Deion Sanders on that team with that defense. That's one of the more underrated defenses in NFL history. They had the second best offense that season, but they had the number one defense. Either number one or number two defense. I had to go back in. At least top five. So, yeah, man, I... And it wouldn't have mattered about Eugene Robinson. That secondary was already crazy. You would have had Ray Buchanan and Dion. <laughs> Bro, you would have had Ray Buchanan in his prime and Dion Sanders. The field is shut down, bro. What are you doing? Who are you throwing to? Yeah, 98. Yeah, we won in, in, I mean, we went to the Super Bowl in 98. Imagine, man. Falcons went to the Super Bowl in 98. If Dion was on that team, we win that Super Bowl easily. We been had our parade. <laughs> we been had our parade, bro. And then the season after, Jamal got hurt. Several different players got hurt. Wrecked that whole season, bro. Wrecked the whole season. And that was it. Jamal was never the same again. And it led to basically tanking and getting my bit. Oh, Smith, I like the additions, but it wasn't a big wow addition it wasn't a big wild addition but i do like the um additions i think peterson um from colorado the hope is you know he got an era over five so hopefully he pitches better here and it it'll kind of be like jesse chavez jesse chavez cannot pitch anywhere else except for the Braves. and we got a left-hander from the texas rangers I don't know anything about him. But we needed left-hand relief in the pen since A.J. Mentor. That kind of worries me because A.J. Mentor was really our only left-hand pitcher coming out the um, pen. 
and I know he's down on the um, 15 day DL. And it's been about 10 days right now, so hopefully we get an update on him soon. McAllister, man, Barkowski was early 80s, was 70s and 80s, bro. 98, we had Chris Chandler. Best season Chris Chandler ever had. Our second best duo wide receivers ever with uh, Mathis and, and Martin, production-wise. And we had a pretty nice team, bro. Magic Man says, any pitching addition should be celebrated. Like, throw a party. Woohoo! <laughs> Hopefully they can pitch though. These guys got high ERAs, man. I was looking for a splash. And uh we kind of like just went like this. Put our toe in the water. But hey, I don't I don't question Alex Anthopoulos moves, because the dude makes magical moves. Who would have thought? Um Eddie Rosario, Jock Peterson, and Jorge Soler would have led us to a championship. Would have helped, not lead us, but would have helped, you know, put it together. All right, so they showing Snit and Carrera on the field right now. First thing that will show any players or coaches. So they're on the field right now. I don't know if they're going to call it. But it's 18 now. It's been an hour for me. I appreciate well, it's been an hour and five minutes. I don't think we need no luck. I, I know we need some arms, though. Uh, I don't want Justin Verlander, man. He can keep him. Rhino number two, Ben saying that we need more uh, soft paws in the bullpen. Glad. We're on the same page. What's up, Rhino? How you doing, man? Rhino number two. Yeah, Raul, what's going on? Yeah, it's a rain delay, bro. Appreciate you coming through. So, both managers came out and assessed the field. It's only a two-game series, so they might play a double hitter, to be honest. Oh, he just chunked the deuces? Oh, yeah, they're not playing tonight. All right, guys. Blake Snell? Yeah, I would like Blake Snell, too. I would like uh, Hater. But I think San Diego ain't throwing in a towel, especially since they spent all that money in the offseason. Now, I think they got the second highest payroll in baseball, only behind the Mets, and both of them ain't winning their division. So, I would love to get Hater, to be honest. Now, that would be a left-hand closer, that we can have a one-two punch. Either he can be the setup. Hold up, hold up, hold up. The field crew coming out. Field crew is coming out. They running out. All right, we're going to play ball, man. Well, I was just about to cut out the stream, too. I was just about to cut out the stream. 100% about to cut out the stream. <coughs> All right. They rolling out the tarp. Yep, they rolling out the tarp. All right. So we're going to play some baseball today, guys. Let's go. Woohoo! Yep, they're rolling it out to the outfield. They're going to fold it up several times. Put it on that big old, uh, what it look like? Uh, you know, I like the little rolls for your uh, paper towels. That's what it looked like. Just a giant size. Uh. Oh, wow. Well, appreciate y'all coming through, man. We just chit-chatting right now. 
you know game ain't even on so i appreciate all of y'all that came through and sitting here watching me talk to y'all uh yeah thoughts and prayers to Bronny james and the james family uh word on the street is he made out of icu so he's stable right now unless something changed start time at 8 15. it's 8 13 right now no way to start time at 8 15. probably 8 45. let me see if the field chalked well the bases are not down But yeah, they gotta uh, they gotta take up all the tarps and then they gotta they gotta line the field. So that in itself take about twenty minutes. So yeah, uh, it says eighty six degrees in San Diego. Man, San Diego always had good weather. We for me and Shonda visit. Beautiful city. Beautiful city. What's up, Mikey? I see you on TikTok. Welcome back to the stream. It's sounded for you, bruh. Thank you guys for hanging out with me for an hour on this rain delay. We're going to be extra long tonight, but that's all right. Well, that crew just came out because I'm telling you, I was just about to chunk the deuces. About to give you that piece up, A-Town Dam. <laughs> you heard Diz got an extension? Five years? Okay. You talking about from, uh, for the Bills, right? Bay Area? You talking about from the Bills, right? Oh yeah, guys, uh, make sure you guys uh, go ahead and get on Smitty. He got his TikTok. Y'all go ahead and uh, get that guy a follow over there. Got some great content. Uh, Smitty Sports Machine. I watch him. Y'all should too. <laughs> also on YouTube. That's Smitty Sports Machine. Uh, so, rain delay. But um, they uncovering everything right now. Now they got to roll out home base. Get these lines. Okay, they got lines down. They probably reline it, though. Be honest. On that circles ready. All right, so we're going to have some baseball, man. That's great. Should be Charlie Morrison is going to start tonight, uh, Mikey. The Mets are whooping up on the Yankees. Did Aaron Judge come back yet? All right, Howard. I see you. Appreciate you coming through on TikTok. Welcome to the stream. I see. Hold on. Oh, you talking about Trevor Diggs, his brother on Dallas? Oh, okay. 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 And it is eight seventeen right now. I estimate eight forty-five. Before first pitch, eight forty-five, most likely first pitch. Yeah. 
Yeah, Justin Herbert got the bag, bro. Hey, you know who's sitting there doing like this? Yeah. Yeah, Joe Burrow. Joe Cool sitting like... I'm going to get paid, right? Yeah, I heard that Bello might start. They said Bello or someone else might start. Oh, my goodness, Ron, Rhino. You said John Carlos Stanton is batting 205 right now? Reminds you of when B.J. Upton came? Okay, yeah. B.J. Upton, when he left the Braves, was never the same. He was never the same. Went to San Diego, a couple other spots, but he was never the same after he left the Braves. John Carlo had a, a couple of good seasons with the Yankees. Been a lot of injury, though. Injury riddled, to be honest. Oh, no, what? They pulled the tarp back out? All right, man, yeah. They did all that, and now they running to put the tarp back out. It must have started raining hard. Because they took up, like, guys, if you don't know, they had the mound in the, um, they had a mound tarp. They had home plate tarps. Like, these are individual tarps. Then the, um, on deck circles, they had them tarp. Okay, I don't get it. What? Oh, okay, now they're. Now they about to roll up. Okay, they got several different processes, man. That's weird. What are we doing, man? Are y'all about to pull this thing back out? Because it was all the way in the outfield. And now it's back over the field. What are we doing? Oh, my goodness, man. Okay, so the mound is still um, covered. Mound is still covered. And home plate is still covered. Look like Charlie is walking the field. Maybe he's going out to the bullpen. Warm up a little bit. Look like the Boston Red Sox is going to be wearing those yellow and blues. Yeah, bro, I, I'm confused too, Breezy. Like, they had the entire um, tart folded once out in the outfield. Looked like they folded again. It was double folded. And then they just, I just saw them scattering like roaches and running down and covering the field. So, dude, I don't know. Okay, now that no, now they're getting the legit rollout. Okay, okay. And the mound is uncovered. All right, so they uncovered the mound. All right, we're gonna play ball, man. We are going to play ball. Yep, they line it up perfectly now. Okay. Yeah. So we're right on track to exactly what I was talking about before. Um, probably around 8.40, Wow, they don't have no tractor out there? That's old school right there, bro. Normally they have a little tractor on the side, rolling it up. Okay. What's up, Brian? How you doing, man? Welcome back to the stream. Hold on. Hold that thought for one second.
All right, we back. We back. All right, so they got the tarp up. They're rolling it right now. The main tarp. Messi scored again, 3-0. Okay. They showing a replay of uh Braves versus Mets. <laughs> Of course, Messi going to turn Miami around. I mean, this ain't like he coming to Premier League. Come on, man. It's the M MLS is not the main soccer, you know, league in the world. It's like the Canadian football to the NFL. It's good, it's entertaining, but the caliber of player is just not the same. Messi should be able to dominate, to be honest. Miami gonna make the playoffs, bro. Watch. I don't think they gonna lose a game with Messi. I mean, when David Beckham came over here, think about, uh, what was that, the L.A., uh, what's the L.A. team when the one guy came over there, the real cocky dude came over and they won a championship. was like, yeah, you know, it was easy. I'll do what I do. He won MVP of the season. He was an older dude. Just came over here to get money, you know what I'm saying, and basically carried that L.A. team to a championship. I think that was like the year after the um, United won. I can't remember the dude's name. Real cocky dude. Yeah, Beckham joined in 07 when it was just 18, 9, 13. I mean, the growth has been awesome, but again, Premier League to MLS is it's not for my knowledge, my slim knowledge of soccer. It's not a, it's not even a, not even discussion. Ah. Brian, we really don't talk about religion on this channel, man. Your beliefs is your beliefs, but yeah. Ah. We don't talk about religion. Or politics on this channel. Oh, they need 35 points to make it? Oh, well, I don't know if they're going to make it then. They're going to feel the stands. That's fine, Brian. Oh, it's cool, bro. It's cool. It's cool. You don't have to be sorry about your beliefs, whichever way you, you know what I'm saying?
All right. The tarp is out the field. Oh, and home plate was already chalked, so that's awesome. They're probably, and they relining everything right now. Yep. Put some dry dirt down. Okay. What time is it? Um, 8.29, yeah. Players are coming out on the field. Hey, they're throwing out some dry dirt right now around home home base. Throwing it in the front of it anyway. All right, so Boston, they're going to be in some jerseys that just say Boston on the front in blue letters. Yellow. What kind of, okay, what kind of jerseys are these? Where's the traditional grays with the red socks on it? Huh? What, what are we doing here, man? What are we doing here? Looks like the Braves gonna have their um, grays on today. Yep. I think. Or is that the white? No, they're gonna have on their whites. Okay. Yeah, I know. I know every team got them city colors, man. I'm just like, what in the world? What in the world, Bo? Shout out the big, big low country. What in the world, Bo, with these colors? <laughs> For the Red Sox. Don't even match their stadium. At, a, at least you can have like some green. I guess it's a color they never, maybe it's an old school color I never heard of. I never saw before. With the Red Sox. I don't know. Love all my teams equally, bro. Raz, man, you should know about that by now. All my teams. All the same equally. I know some people do, but I'm just, it's ATL, it's ATL, bro. That's just, that's just how I roll. I mean, I don't know enough about um, soccer or lacrosse to be like heavy fans of those sports, but it's about the ATL. They get my love too. Even the silverbacks. Yeah. I ain't know about the silverbacks. I really wish that Arthur would have bought the silverbacks and made them the professional team. Just like the, uh, The Atlanta Knights hockey team should have been the hockey team instead of making the Thrashers. The Knights actually won championship, those minor league championships. Jonathan Boyle, what's up, fam? I see you. Say they're going to start at 850. I see Charlie Morrison is over in the um, bullpen right now, so. Let's wind the pitch. Show Ozzy Alves win this game for us. Yep, and that was it. Well, 
Ozzy Albies hit that walk off against the Mets, that three run walk off. And the pitcher that look put his head down, start walking towards the um, dugout. That was a great game. That's a good game to put up. Matt Olson out there doing stretches. Getting ready. Looked like he on the third base side, though. David said, uh, are they going to play tonight? Yeah, they, um, they're fixing the field right now, man. Been a long rain delay, but I think we'll be out of it around uh, 845, 850, something like that. Appreciate everybody coming through and hanging out with me doing this rain delay. I was just about to cut it off. Like I literally was seconds away from cutting the stream off. And then I looked up at the TV. And I saw the um, grounds crew all running out on the field, lining up to move the tarp. So, All right, Ron Acuna Jr. on the field, getting warmed up, doing some stretches. And they had the right game on, literally put it on on the right inning so it can end right when the game about to start. Yep, first pitch at 8.50. I guess they are going to reline it. Yeah, they relining it right now. Yep, they're relining, rechalking everything. Doing home plate and coming from third baseline. And they um, added the bases also. Oh, this guy's a professional, professional, guys. I don't see any, like, the little wheel. But he's, but he's dropping the chalk from the hand. It's dragging. That's, yeah, that dude's a professional right there. He don't have the little heart little liner. Oh, wow. Okay. Dougie Fresh, how you doing, man? Yeah, we're going to start the game. Uh, right now, they're saying first pitch is at 850. First pitch is at 850, man. So I appreciate all you guys hanging around with us doing this rain delay. Because uh, I was almost out this time, to be honest. I normally give them an entire hour to make sure that they got it done and got it ready. So I said, and I let it go to about 8.15 there. I saw people running out. I was just about to give everyone my goodbyes and stuff. But here we go. And they lining up um, home plate right now. I appreciate that, Dougie Fresh. Hey, man. Do a rip. Do what uh, Magic Man said. Let me give you an alert. Got a merch alert. Guys, rain delays are bad. But you know what you can do while you're waiting? Check out the merch on the store in the channel's homepage. Yep, yep. Come down here, son. Come down here. 
Thank you. Thank you. No, we just can't go in there with mama, okay? So yeah, uh, you guys should check it out. Do it at your leisure. Got some nice swag over there. Get that all about the A or the Dixon Way shirt. Love to see it. All that good stuff. We we'll just put it right there and leave it. So when Ronald come up, we already ready to go. So yeah, man, this is the Dixon Way. All about the A Sports Salt. You guys see see me here chatting with y'all, but oh, I see. I see that's dusty. That's a die cast toy. You trying to tell tell me something, son? You wanna you wanna e dusty? Dusty, yeah. E uh, we'll look it up. We'll look it up. And it is 841 right now, Eastern Standard Time. Normally, we'll be going to the bottom half of the fourth inning right now. Be honest. Normally. No, no, we'll be in the fifth inning right now, actually. We've been in uh, the fifth or sixth inning right now. So yeah, this is going to be an extra long night. Where's your sheets, huh? So you can lay down. See you getting a little less running around. Must be getting tired. And this is going to be a weird series right here, man, because we got a two game series. So just like initially, like why are they playing? They could have just played four games to be honest. On the 13. Both teams with two home runs. Okay. Okay. My goodness, man. Check some. See what my dream doing. Oh man. Could have did this whole game. Wow. Dream game started when the Braves was to start and the dream is whooping on the mercury oh my goodness 71 to 53 let's go dream it look like a packed house because it's Brittany Griner there of course oh and the dream went to the um Atlanta Open it's a tennis uh, tournament going on right now Coco Golf okay cool so they got to meet Coco Golf Looking real short compared to the basketball player. I see Dusty. Yeah. All right, so the Dream been looking real good. Lost their last um, game, but. Got their ATL jersey blue. All black with the blue trimming. Looking like they're going to make the playoffs this season. Thanks to um, Alicia Gray coming in, being a great uh, front court partner. It's still too short, in my opinion. But, uh, e yeah. Yeah, 
here. It's only five minutes left in the game. Five minutes and two seconds left in the game. Green up by 22. That's what's up. Green's got the second highest scoring in it. In WNBA this season? Oh, snap. out there. Alright, so the Aces is number one, Liberty number two. Suns number three. Wings are number four, so they jumped up. This is because we lost two of them. Wings number six. Right? Twelve and ten about to go to Okay. So they're still in um, playoff contention, but they're not hosting the game. Last week, they were hosting the game. They were number four. Okay. So they lost in the Mystics and Dallas won. All right, let's go back. Baseball game should be coming up soon, guys. I'm not sure, um, Beach Bay area, because the college basketball season coming up soon. Are you sleepy? Sleepy? Hey. I don't know, Brian. I mean, right now, I just want the kid to get better. I'm not worried about him playing basketball or not, to be honest. Not at all. Not in the slightest. Not worried about Bronny James playing basketball, man. Just want the kid to recover and be healthy. Same way I felt about um, DeMar Hamlin. Wasn't thinking about DeMar Hamlin uh, playing football after him almost losing his life. So, not worried about him playing basketball either. Just want the kid to be healthy, live a, a life. Wee. Crash. Yeah, Beast Bay, I really don't don't even care if he ever play again. Just want to be healthy. Prior to the injury, I think he was going to only play uh, not injury, but prior, I think he was going to uh, oh, he's still up, man. I know. I, I was just talking about that. They blowing them out. Uh, yeah, and all the fans in there now, yeah, we about to play ball, guys. It's already nighttime in Boston. It's almost nighttime here. Yeah, prior to him having a heart attack, I think Brandon was going to go one and done. I think he was going to play one season. And then go to the NBA. LeBron was going to go wherever he, you know, got drafted. Now, who knows? Brain in Myrtle Beach. Okay. They said the start time was supposed to be in four minutes. Supposed to be at 8.50. Starting pitch. They about to start right now, though. Ronald Cunha is up in the... Um, on deck circle. And he fixing his gloves. He's stretching. He already got bat in hand. So, yeah, pitcher is warming up right now. So, yeah, we're about to start at any second, guys. Appreciate all you guys coming through. John Schreiber is coming out. Got an ERA of 2.12 on the season. All right. All right, let's go.
These city jerseys aren't as bad as the um, Brewers, though. But they are very different. All right, here comes Ronald Cunha Jr. Oh, no, he should have used the machine. Those batter bots look crooked. Maybe I'm just used to the precision of the Braves uh, grounds crew. All right, Makata said, let's go Moss and Braves. No, nah, it's ATL, baby. All day, every day. All right. We got first pitch coming. Schrauber, he set. Here's one in the pitch. Ronald Cunha Jr. popped it up. First thing he saw, out number one. They didn't even give him a chance to bet. Adam Duvall with the catch. Rumor is we're trying to get Adam Duvall back to play left field. I mean, I thought we had enough outfield help. We need pitching on top of pitching on top of pitching. All right. Isaiah Albert's coming up the bat. One pitch, one out. One in the pitch. Hey, 95 mile per hour. Right down the middle. Strike one. All on one is a count. I was staring in. Leaning back like he always do. Here's one in the pitch. Whoa, he hit him right in the ankle. He didn't swing it. They got hit in the dang old ankle. Take your base. I know he ain't mean to. Yeah, he just had that slider ride out. It hit him right on the ankle. On the back side of the ankle. Ooh, that got to hurt. Ooh, we know that hurt. I'm rubbing my ankle. All right. Also, right at the back. Just won back to back players of the week. Two weeks in a row. Also, Riley on one. On one is a count, though. Looked at that first one. All right. Here's the wind of the pitch. Sweeping curveball. On two. And that's what we were trying to do before, but it just. On Ozzy, but it slid too far. It hit him in the ankle. Them side arms, man. Got them weird angles coming out, man. All right, one and two is a count. Let's go, Austin Riley. Austin Riley got 22 home runs, 66, 61 RBIs. OPS at 819. It's winding the pitch. Ooh, almost caught Ronald Cunha Jr. Uh, sleeping. Try right, to throw him out at first base after the pitch. Ronald getting back to the bag real slow. Almost threw him out, but didn't get him. Two and two to count. They worried about uh, Ronald. I mean, Ozzy. Boy, in the pitch. Good eye. Now he ain't go. Full count. Good eye by Austin Riley. He side on us, man. They dangerous. And that ball going to start from behind um, Austin Riley. Since he a right-hand um, pitcher. It's winding the pitch. Ball inside, 93 mile per hour, right at the knees. Would have been a strike if he ain't hit it. Out it off. Ozzy Albee's doing his job being distraction on the base pass. Why is it not 3-2? I thought the count was three and two. Yeah, it's three two, man. Get it right on the um balance got it wrong on. It's three two count, man. All right, here's the wind the pitch. Austin Riley hit it right in the gap. Bloop, bloop. 
Let's go. And Ozzy Albies advanced to third base. Love to see it. Ah, right, whatever, Magic Man. Don't be trying to jinx us with that. Actually, the Red Sox have been playing well lately, to be honest. They've been playing well lately. Overall, their record is bad, though. Yeah, the Braves' weakness is bad teams. You ain't lying. He ain't never lied. Wilson coming out the bat. Got men on the throwers account. One ball, no strikes. Now Wilson got his average up over uh, 250. It's 253 now. 32 home runs. Only one who got more home runs than him is Shohei Otani. Here's the wind the pitch. Ball way in the dirt. Let's go. 2-0 to count. You can walk him if you want to. We love bases loaded. We take advantage of that. All right, here's the wind the pitch. Ooh, nasty change up curveball on the outside corner. That sidearm. Very deceptive. Two and one to count. Hold up, I gotta change that. Here's the wind the pitch. Ball on the outside. He ain't going for it. Three and one to count. Good eye, Matt Olson. Let him walk you. Sean Murphy to come up. Yeah. Uh, Murphy used to hitting in this stadium, too. Being from the, um, well, both of them are. Walk! Bases is loaded. Bases is loaded. Look at them Braves fans. Braves fans out here. All right, Sean Murphy, let's get it. Oh, everybody went to the mound trying to give me encouragement. No, it's too late for that. Too late for that. Come on. Come on, Braves. Do what you do. They already got a man in the bullpen ready. Wow. He only got 14 pitches. Wow. Man, it's like, guess what, man? We're not doing this. They got a man up in the bullpen already. 14 pitches. They're like, bro, if you give up a grand slam, you out of here. I just want you to know that. That's what they told him. Come on, Sean Murphy. Supply the power we need right now. All right, here's the wind the pitch. Ooh, nasty pitch. Got him check swing. It didn't matter. It was a perfect pitch. <coughs> PJ Mass. PJ Masks, the PJ Masks. I see, son. All right, here's the wind the pitch. Ball inside, 93 mile power. Try to get him with the swing at some junk. He wasn't swinging at it. Beast Bay said Bello should have started. No, I don't want to see Chris Sale. Nope. Don't want to see him. Here's the wind the pitch. Sean Murphy hit it in the gap. That's just, nah, they ain't scoring two. It's scoring one, though. Base is still loaded. One out. Woo! Let's go, Braves. Let's get it. Sean Murphy with a uh, CNI single. Love to see it. Ozzy Albee scored. Let's go. We still got one out, too. All I want is a pop fly. Now, the good thing is, that's a very short porch over there for Azuna. Here's one the pitch. Ball way outside. It's a short porch on right field. Azuna can definitely hit that. Marcel Azuna, batting average going back down. He had 228 now. Here's the wind the pitch. Ball inside. Marcel ripped it down third base line. Foul ball. Got 18 home runs on the season. Career bases loaded. He's 367 on the season. Hold on, son. Let go of my Lay down, son. Lay down. Hey. I'll use this arm, son. There you go. Ball way outside. Welcome. 
Ain't nowhere to put them. Walk them. We'll, we'll take a walk in. We'll take it. Marcelo Zuna got seven grand slam. Let's make that eight. Here's the one in the pitch. No way that was a strike. No way, Blue. What are you watching, man? Come on, Blue. Stop that. What's up, Great Wars? I see you, man, on YouTube. Welcome back to the stream. Down for you. All right, here's Wine the pitch. Ball way outside. Full camp. Let's go, Marcel. I promise you, you want to walk you. All right, here's Wine the pitch. Marcel Azuni. Oh, my goodness. He caught it. Oh, he threw it in the, in the, hey, he threw it in the stands. We scored. It ain't going to stands, though. We scored again on the error. Great job by the Boston Red Sox. Ain't no double play, bro. No, you ain't double him up. He touched. Man, you did not double nothing up. He caught it. That's out number two. He didn't double nothing. Why are we talking about this? He never touched the bag. Such and such dove for the bag and got back. It's not a double play. What's up, Todrick? How you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. I see you. What are they talking about double play? You caught the ball. They dove back on the base. You try to tag him out or try to step on the bag. He got back before. He threw it to, um, he threw it to first base. It went past the guy. We scored. Sorry. It's two zip. It's two zip. Y'all better stop playing with me. It's two zip. Boston trying to lie, saying they got a double play. He caught the ball on his knees, stood back up, tried to step on the bag, but whoever was on um, second base, go back to second base and touch it before. Let us show it again, please. All right. He caught that. Okay. Yeah, he's safe. But what double play are you talking about? You never, you never touched before he got there. Safe. He's safe. Step on the bag for what? He's safe. Then he threw the ball way out here. Almost hit the umpire. No, dude. You just threw an error. It's two zips. Stop playing. Stop playing. You didn't touch. He was on the base and about to get up. He's safe, man. Too old, man. Stop playing. Not in the replay. What? What are they calling now? Okay, so they saying he didn't tag. They saying that Olsen didn't tag, so we out. Okay, it's a lot of tomfoolery going on. It should be 2-0, though. It should be 2-0. 
if the Braves not making the World Series was the price for Bouts and Sue for. Nah, that's too much woulda, shoulda, coulda, man. Nope. One thing at a time. Only team that got a better chance to win a championship are the Georgia Bulldogs and the Braves, as it currently stands. Now, we don't know if more injuries are going to happen or whatever, but uh, Falcons got a lot of uh, things to prove. I feel like they're going to win 10 games, or do I feel like they're a guaranteed Super Bowl contender? No, not at all. So, no. It's updated with uh, one zero with two outs. No, it's three outs, man. It's three outs. It's three outs. What? How? So Matt Olson never tagged. What's going on, John Brooks? How you doing, man? Welcome back to the stream. Appreciate you coming through. All right, here's the wind the pitch. Ball way outside. Duran up the bat against Charlie Morrison, batting uh, 317 on the season. All right, ball hit right there. Great uh, defense. Got him out by half a step. Great defense by Matt Olson and Charlie Morrison. Yeah, that is true. I need to see that again, bro. I need to see that play again. Like the whole field. If somebody didn't tag up, that's just stupid. Uh, nice pitch. Justin Turner, formerly of the Dodgers. Always get a Braves problem. And there he goes. Got a single. Always. Always and forever. Always get a break from. But it with the Dodgers, now with the Boston um, Red Sox. Professional hitter. See ball, hit ball. Yeah, I, I, I don't even know how they score that. That's crazy. Just one the pitch. Swing and a miss. Great slider by Charlie Morrison. I mean, we should still be in the inning with one out. No, with two out, excuse me. And we didn't tag up. That's so stupid. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know, Frankie. They just threw it at third base and, and called them out. And we couldn't review that. And we couldn't review it. Foul ball. All right, oh and two. And we couldn't review it, so it's just like, all right, whatever. It's a judgment call. They said he didn't um, tag. Tag up. So here's what it is. Raphael Devers. Always got something in his mouth. Got a mouth fixation. Most baseball players do. At least it ain't uh, tobacco. 
No more. Whoa, Charlie Morrison almost hit him. John Brooks talking about the no hitter. Man, Charlie Morrison is far from being the ace, bro. He was the ace about four years ago. He ain't no ace right now. About four or five years ago, he was the ace when he was with the Houston Astros. He ain't no ace no more. He's a wily veteran eating up innings for you. Been pitching good, though. I ain't worried about the no hit. Just don't give up any runs right now. Here's a wind the pitch. And a long rain delay can mess with an older player. All right, two and two to count. Devers, man, 265 on the season. Always dangerous. Uh, one zero is the score. Bottom half of the first inning. Here's winding the pitch. Swing fouled it off. Still two and two to count. Never signed that huge deal in the offseason. Stay at uh, Red Sox. Many thought he was going to leave. All right, here's the wind the pitch. Swing, foul that ch um, change up up. Dang, man. He is battling with Charlie Morrison. Morrison up to 11 pitches. Got a man on first base. One out. Devers up the bat. Two and two to count. Charlie staring in. All right, he's set. Here's the wind in the pitch. Ball way down, 97 mile per hour. And you know, he was in this division before, so. Jonathan says it's going to be a, a strikeout. Appreciate you coming in, Jonathan. Over to the stream. Man, he is battling up there. He's putting back on ball on things that should be a strike. Wow. All right, so did he even, oh, now they should have challenged and see if he even caught that. So now it looked like he didn't even catch it. All right, it's wide the pitch. He fouled that off, man. He is battling right now. Devers is battling. It's a full count. Yeah, Frankie. Yeah. Um, Charlie Morton says he ain't an AC, just a veteran, give you six to seven innings, hopefully. Yeah, 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 yeah. Up, uh, hit it. Oh, man, what a hit. We got men on the corners now. No. Turner didn't advance. All right, so we got men on second and first base. Still got a chance for a double play here. Mal Max uh, 707 says on TikTok, appreciate you coming in first. You give that sound of welcome to the stream. Um, he says that uh, the fact that the Braves got everybody locked up, but Max Free speaks highly of how good the GM is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alex Anthopoulos is a wizard. He's a wizard. Uh, Magic Man, with that alert, the public service announcement. Guys, hit that like button, please. Uh, share it out. Share the stream out on your socials. Swing. It's a double play. Nope. Only got one. All right. They advance the runners. Good swing and bunt right there. All right. Two outs. Man on third and second. Subscribe and follow. Hit the notification bell. Ding, ding. This is the Dixon Way. All about the A Sports Talk. We give you that fire commentary. All our favorite sports team. Hawks, Rays, Falcons, and Dream. We actually could have did the Dream game because this game was delayed so much. Oh, well. Adam Duvall coming up, band 257, got seven home runs, 26 RBIs, and OPS at 835 on the season. Adam Duvall facing his old team. 
coming up in a pressure situation. Was good with the Braves in these situations. Let's hope he's not good right now. Carly Morrison. Why we didn't get that call when that last pitcher got that ridiculous call that was not a strike? Yeah, Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown got more money in his five-year deal than Kobe made in his entire career. That's just when you're born, man. You're just lucky to be born in this age. They ain't saying that he a better player. It's just he's born in this age. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Kobe made more money than Brown off the court. Yeah, so. Exactly, so. He's winding the pitch. Ball way outside, and he walked him. Charlie Morrison looking like he affected by the um, rain delay. All right, we got bases loaded, two outs. All right, what you going to do, Charlie? Got two outs. All you need is one out, bro. Here's one the pitch. 97 mile power. He got that call. I appreciate it. That's a makeup call. That was not a strike, but I'll take it. And this guy's batting 247. Casas. All right, here's the wind the pitch. Ball on the outside, 96 mile per hour. Ball one. One and one is the count. All right, Charlie Morton got a, a lather up right now, a sweat. Trying to dance through some raindrops. Here's the wind the pitch. Ooh, thought he was going to uh, swing on that slider. All right, here's the one in the pitch. Wow, that's a strike. I'll take it, but it definitely wasn't. I like these makeup calls. Unfortunately, he's been calling that consistently. Like, that's that's so out of the zone, but all right, whatever. I'll take it. Two and two to count. Start the clock. Here's the one in the pitch. Nah, it wasn't. That was too low. Three and two, full count. You ain't got nowhere else to put him, Charlie. Okay, uh, the little earpiece came out. Uh, Michael Harris, you talking about? Michael Harris the second? Uh, he been heating up, bro. He been hot for two months. He ain't heating up, he hot. <laughs> All right, here's why in the pitch. I ain't said my power right on the knuckles, right at well, uh, waist high. Out off. Still three and two to count. Casas up the bat. Charlie Mortz is scrambling. Trying to dance through these raindrops. He got bases loaded. Two outs. All he needs is one out. Come on, man. Here's one in the pitch. Ball on outside and he walked the man in. Yeah. 
things up on the outside corner that didn't do nothing. Just kept going on to the outside. The common errors, man. It should be two zip right now. Now it's tied up one to one. Base is loaded. Christian Arroyo, the one that started controversies, he didn't even catch the ball, looked like. All right, here's the wind of the pitch. Ball hit, third base line, throwing across, didn't get it. All right, 2-1. Perfect hit. Good defense, but couldn't throw nobody out. Everybody safe. Wow. Didn't do nothing about it. Perfect hit. I mean, great defense by Austin Riley not allowing that to get down third base line. But that would have cleared bases. Swing. All right, it's 2 1 right now. Charlie Morrison cannot dance through these raindrops. I don't know, Great Wars. We start have base running errors. I mean, you already have errors in the outfield, but you have base running errors. That compounds things, man. Simple things that we weren't making mistakes on in the first half of the season are starting to pop up. All right, swing and a miss. One and two is a count. Wong up the bat. Wong done grew a beard. Look very different right now. Here's the one in the pitch. 95 mile per hour. Ooh, Sean Murphy. Uh, Got to gather himself. Yeah. He needs to gather himself. All right, Braves down 2-1 to the Boston Red Sox right now. All right, 2-1 to count. Here's one the pitch. Swing and a miss. Charlie got out of, but he got rained on. Great war is talking about you get error, you get error like Oprah. Yeah. Yeah. But man, I appreciate all you guys. That's the end of the first inning. Both teams had bases loaded. But the Red Sox scored two. It should be two to two right now. It should be two to two right now. Ah, Lee. Woo! Rain delays, rain delays. Good foot, son. Watch your Mickey Mouse. Okay, lay back down there. There you go. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching, man. This is the Dixon Way, all about the eight sports talk. We give you commentary on our favorite sports teams and the Hawks, Braves, Falcons. Uh, right now, Rays scored one in the top half of the first. Red Sox scored two. But it could have been worse for both teams. All right. I don't know about no pitching duel tonight. Tonight, <laughs> Again, if Charlie Morrison get me five after a long rain delay, he's throwing off his, um, off his routine, you know? Yeah, that's true. Our match man says the Braves seem to have lost discipline. Too many areas and defense needs uh, intervention. 
I would say pitching need an intervention. It was no defensive problem that time. It was just thought that Morrison couldn't get out the inning. <laughs> I mean, that's what that happened right there. But the Braves are fourth in the lead with comeback win. Well, both of these teams are tied for fourth place with comeback wins this season. Both teams got 28 comebacks on the season. Nick Pavita is out pitching right now. New pitcher in the place. I'm going to pee pee, son. All right, 0 1 is a count. Hit a Rosario at the back. Larry, don't open that door. You can't go in that door, son. Don't worry about it. Well, you can't you can't go in there with mama, son. You can't go in there with mama. Okay? Yeah, you can't go in there with mama. I know you love your mama. I know. I didn't know you love your mama. I know it. Let me put that down. All right. All right, let's wind the pitch. Popped it up. Two and two to count. Come on, Eddie. Eddie, we need you to get on base, please. All right, two and two to count. Let's wind the pitch. Eddie hit it right up the middle. Good hit by Eddie Rosario. Love to see it. Good job, Eddie. Let me get your sheet. Lay down. You okay, son? All right, Eddie Rosario on first base. Got Orlando RC up the bat. He hits it. Where they ain't. All right, we got two men on right now. There we go. No outs. Got a man on second, man on first. Let's go. I mean, the offense going to have to carry us. I wish we had better pitching, yes. It's Max, I mean, it's, oh, it's getting to the point. That I don't even know if it's enough time for Max Free to work himself back and because he's gonna come back, but he ain't gonna be the same. It's gonna take a couple of games. All right, Michael Harris the second is up the bat. Money Mike. Let's go, Money Mike. Let's get a double right here, please. Swing and a miss. High fast ball. He missed it. Shouldn't have swung at it, actually. Four and one to count. All right, here's one in the pitch. Money Mike swinging at another high fast ball. This should be ball two. It's 0 2 right now. No balls, two strikes. Gotta, gotta find some plate discipline, brother. I know you hotter than fish grease. Come on now. Work the count. You know, Swung at two balls, and this guy was erratic. Here's one in the pitch. Got it. Money Mike peeked in at the catcher. He stood up and he threw it low. Low. Ran at the knees, change up, frozen. Because he was looking for another high fastball. Because he stood up, stood up. That's some nice little deceptive things right there. You notice that um, catcher standing up in your periphery. You're like, oh, they about to throw me another high fastball. I'm going to lay off this one. 
And nope, he dropped it in the bucket. That was pretty slick. All right, we got one out. Ronald Cunha up the bat. His wind the pitch, swinging at the first thing he see. No play discipline. This guy literally has thrown like maybe two strikes. Everything else has been off the plate. Make him prove that he can hit the plate, please. See, he's not hitting the plate. One and one is the count. All right, Ronald Cunha up. Pitcher is set. Here's the one in the pitch. He swung at a uh, ball. I mean, come on, man, Larry. Swung at a ball. One and two is the count. I mean, it was a nasty pitch. Don't get me wrong. But, I mean, if you stood there and watched three hitters come up, and see this dude not hitting the plate. Make him hit the plate. Here's the one in the pitch. Ball way outside. Two and two to camp. Make him hit the plate. We had two men on, no outs. We got to score on this, guys. Here's the one in the pitch. Ronald Cunha Jr. looked like he's going to hit into a double play. One, he say, no way he say, no, he say, stop. He say, they called him out on the double play. No, that, no way he's out. Yeah, he say, stop, stop playing. Stop playing. He's not doubling Ronald out on the deep hole when third baseman got, man, he is so safe. How did you call that out? Man, he's so safe. Stop. Safe. He is so safe. Stop it. Dude, he is so safe. He is so safe. No way he caught that. Come on, man. Y'all better stop playing. All right, it's overturn. All right, we got men on the corners, two outs. All right, so this catcher puts his in his wristband. Other catchers I've seen put the little, uh, the pitch count in their knee pad. And this way people can't steal signs. So it's actually a good, you know, addition. Man, I appreciate all you guys um, coming through and also hanging out with us through the rain delay. You guys are awesome. All of you guys. Let me give you all of you guys a sounder. All right, right now it's two to one. Boston Red Sox on top. The Braves got two men on. One man on first, one man on third with two outs. Ozzy Albies up the bat. They got a lot of electronical uh, issues right now. 
and the umpires need to get a hold of this. Be like, hey man, y'all just gonna have to call it old school. Put your fingers down. You know what I'm saying? Got to. Can't hold up the game. If you ain't got it, then go ahead and start the game. I could have sworn they did the Braves like that. It was like, y'all got to go ahead and pitch. They just start throwing the signs down. It ain't like all these players don't know how, how and what sign is what. I guess they're trying to get in the pair. Hold on, sir. Oh, you're looking at that's cool. Mm-hmm. Goodness, man. I had like a ten minute delay. Oh, this is crazy. All right. It's already been a delay enough. Go out there and throw some signs down, man. Now you're going to have to warm up. Come on, man. All right, let's go. Everybody set. Run about to steal this base. Watch. Yep, and he gone. Ronald Cooney with another steal. That's 47 on the season. Ronald going to end up with at least 60 steals in my opinion. Yep, 47. I was right. We're not going to end up with at least 60 steals, in my opinion. That's not counting the uh, postseason. Man, I think they're doing this just to cool the braids off, to be honest. I'm going to be honest. This feels like a cool-down tactic. To me. Feel like a cool down act a uh, tactic. All right, one know is a count. We got uh, runners on second and third right now. All right, here's the wind the pitch. Ozzy Alves popped it up. I hope he didn't pop a foul out. Thank goodness. All right. Let's go, Ozzy. Ozzy Alves staying in. One and one is a count. Two outs, two men on. Here's one the pitch. Ozzy Alves just popped it up again. Foul ball. One and two is a count. Come on, Ozzy. Straighten that bat up. All right, here's the wind the pitch. Whoa, ball almost hit him. Two and two to count. Good eye. <coughs> Excuse me. Ozzy Alves popped that up. Yeah, that's out. First base side. First baseman under it. That's out number three. All right, the Braves had two men on. Didn't do nothing with it. All right, score is two to one. Boston Red Sox up on the Atlanta Braves. Appreciate everybody coming through. Welcome to the stream. Oh, goodness. That's going to be a long game, man.
it would be dang on near over right now. Regular. It's like this is like a West Coast game. I appreciate all you guys coming through, man. This is the Dixon Way. All about the A sports. Give you live commentary. My favorite sports team. Hawks, Rays, Falcons, and some green. Green too. Um, Boston Red Sox up right now. Two to one. Going to the bottom half of the second inning. And man, these first two innings have taken the longest, bro. Like we started at 850. No, 845. And it's been an hour. And we're only to the second inning, bro. The bottom half of the second inning, man, this game gonna be forever. This feels like an old school game. They should have forced in the play without the um look earphone thing, man. That's like 15 minutes for technical difficulty. When you just put your finger down, you know what I'm saying? Like all those players know the hand signals. Like, why is this so hard? That piece of electronics should have never stopped the game. All right, here's one the pitch. Charlie back up. Up, oh, that looked like it's center field, but Money Mike is under it. Out number one. Let's go. Up oh, the beautiful Shonda in the building. You guys, make sure you say hello to Shonda on YouTube. Do you see the Dixon way in the chat? She in there. She says, hello, everyone. Thanks for hanging out and joining the watch party. Please check out our latest short, The Atlanta Dream Beating the Phoenix Mercury. Yep, yep. Link in the description. Got him. Good pitch by Charlie. Well, actually a bad swing by um, Duran. Darren Duran up. Damn, 315. 0 for 1 today. Let's make that 0 for 2. Ooh, swing in the mess on the nasty slider. He done swing at two balls. I appreciate him, though. <laughs> Charlie all the way up to um, 36 pitches. That was all in the first inning. I already got it out right now. Looking for two. Let's make this a quick, short inning, Charlie. Come on. All right, here's one in the pitch. Try to get him with a high fastball. He laid off of it. Good eye. One and two is the count. This lineup did pretty good against Charlie. So, they're getting their second chance around. Ball on outside, tip foul. Still one and two to count. All right, here's the one in the pitch. Charlie almost hit a man. Oh, he did hit it. He did hit it. Yep, hit him right on the toe. Charlie ain't got his control tonight, man. All right. One man on, one out. Uh, just a turn off the bat. I just wind the pitch. He tried to steal on Sean Murphy. Ooh, good steal. And that's what happened when you hit somebody a fast runner. On second base, good steal. Steal on uh, Sean Murphy. You, you earned it. Great jump, though. Wow, that was a great jump. Ooh, one and O's account. Here's one in the pitch. Justin Turner just popped it up. Thank goodness. Money Mike underneath it. Going to third base and he going. Uh, I was up the line. 
That dude's fast. All right, they got a man on um, third base with two outs. Breezy said, it's still just a second in. Yeah, man. Man. Both teams got bases loaded. Then, at the top of the inning, they had um, technical difficulties with the headset. It's just all kind of wrong. 94 mile power right at the knees. Good pitch by Charlie. On one is a count. Raphael Devers up. He won for one. All right, here's the one in the pitch. Swing. Good defense. Throw him out. Yes, sir. Great defense by Orlando Arcia. Wow. What a dig out by the shortstop, by the all-star shortstop. Great defense. And threw Devers out with time to spare. What a defensive play. Wow. Gotta love that. I don't know. Is people what I'm saying again? Mm-mm. 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 Uh, guys, if you... Okay. Yeah, I had messages before. Not lately, though. Really? Nah, I see it on the um on the screen too. Yeah, I see YouTube. I see YouTube on the actual overlay. Guys, if you um hear me on YouTube or on uh Twitch, then please hit a one in the chat, please. If you guys hear me. Yeah, yeah, Magic Man just clicked on, said one. Brianna K, appreciate you coming back through. One, thank you. Welcome back to the stream. I'm not saying that name, W. IWI, but uh, I appreciate you coming through. Welcome to the stream. Yep, yep. Grow up. You don't have to do names like that. <laughs> Goodness. All right, on one to count. Ball straight down the middle. Austin Riley, just look at it. On one account, no balls, one strike. All right, here's the wind the pitch. Also, Riley swung for the fences, and he missed everything. Oh, and two. Here's the wind the pitch. Ball low. One and two is the count. Trying to get Austin Riley to fish. In the harbor, wasn't trying to fish that time. All right, here's a wind the pitch. Austin Riley missed that one, 96 mile power, straight down the middle. Still one and two is a count. And it's a short porch over there on right field, guys. Might want to hit it. All right, here's the wind the pitch. Ball low, ain't fishing. Two and two to count. Austin Riley done won um, back-to-back player of the weeks in the National League. He uh, one for one today. Let's make that two for two, please. Two and two to count, no outs. Austin Riley leading off. Here's the wind the pitch. Fouled it off. Down first base is out. Come on. Come on, Riley. Come on, Austin. Let's make that three weeks in a row. All right, here's the wind of the pitch. Ball on that. 
No way that was a strike. Stop playing. Bruh. 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 Man, strike zone. Man, that's a crazy strike zone, man. I wish Charlie was getting those calls. Here's one in the pitch. Ball in the dirt. One and no is a count. One ball, no strikes. All right, we got a man out in the top half of the third inning. It took an hour. Man, it's going to be a three-hour game right here. All right, here's one in the pitch. Ball high. Whoa, that wasn't a strike? All right, two and no to count. I don't know about that, W. But yeah, it ain't looking too good. Let's support two of his calls. Man, Ocean just fouled it off. One and two is the count. That was a strike, though, so he had to swing at that. But he looking like, he feel like he just missed it. All right, pitch is set. Here's one the pitch. Ooh, 95 mile per hour. Right on the knuckles. Good pitch. Two and two to count. The Veta looking pretty good. Got two strikeouts, two hits, one and one third. All right, here's one in the pitch. Ooh, sweeping curveball. Did good enough just to put um bat on it, to be honest. Still two and two to count. All right, that Olsen looking in. Here's winding the pitch. Riding a little, um, like cutter in on the hands, but it was way too far in. Three and two to count. That Olsen, you gonna walk? All right, here's winding the pitch. That Olsen protecting the plate. Hit it right to the second baseman. He threw him out. That's out number two. All right, Sean Murphy out the bat. Batting 288 on the season, 17 home run. Hit the RBIs, OPS of 939. Sean Murphy is one for one on today. Got an RBI single in the first. That's how we scored. It's winding the pitch straight down the middle. Caught him looking. That was a good pitch. The hit. Sean was looking for the changeup. Didn't get it. On one is the count. Here's one in the pitch. There's a the changeup. Threw it in the dirt. My favorite player is all the Braves players. Every last brave. All right, here's one in the pitch. Sean Murphy hit it third base. Good defense by Devers. He throws him out easily. Oh, not easily. I almost threw the ball away. Sean Murphy would have been hustling down that line. He might have beat it. All right, and the Braves go out. One, two, three. All right, still down by one. Two to one. Red Sox up. Going to the bottom half of the third inning. Appreciate all you guys coming through. Welcome to the Dixon Way. All about the A Sports Talk. We give you that fire commentary. All our favorite sports teams. Hawks, Braves, Falcons, and Dream. Could have actually did the Atlanta Dream today because the rain delay was that long. Uh, oh, well. Here's what it is. Uh, Yoshida coming out the bat. He 0 for 1 today. See the DH in, in the four hole. So we got the number four, five, and six here that's coming up.
Wish I could show the game. That's all right, man. I try to paint the picture as best I can verbally. Yeah, but I don't own broadcasting rights. I don't feel like making another account, so. If yet. Oh, it's decent. I got to get better at it. First time doing baseball um, this season, so. Progressively getting better, I hope, anyway. Charlie Morrison last four games, ERA in 1.82 ERA with a whip of 0 0.97. Averaging about six innings per game, only one home run allowed. They've been pitching good, been dancing through a lot of raindrops, though. Here's why in the pitch. Wow. He gave that call? Okay. Yeah, this this strike zone is huge, bro. This strike zone is three inches on both sides. Here's why in the pitch. And he gave him that. Makeup calls. Okay. On to the camp. The sheet is uh, 0 for 1 today. All right, here's why in the pitch. Chop it. Swing and bunt. Wow, good infield hit by Yoshida, beating out. That was like a infield chopper swinging bunt. What's up, Mono Bear? How you doing on YouTube? I see you, fam. Welcome back to the stream. Let's go. All right, they got the leadoff man on. I see you trying to catch it bare hand and throw it. Missed it. All inside, 94 mile power. 1 and 0 is a count. Adding the ball up. Walked his first time. All right, here's the wind of the pitch. The ball hit it. Also, Riley got it. Throw it across. Got him out. No, nah, they said they didn't go past the base. They said it was a foul ball. Okay. The ball coming back up the bat. All right, one and one is the count. Mono Bear, how did the Hawks fumble Jalen Brown? They never had a chance to get Jalen Brown, man. That's just Hawks fans like me and you hoping and wishing upon a star. Jalen Brown was not never going to turn down the, the most expensive extension in NBA history. It just wasn't put on the table yet. They didn't fumble no, they, there was no bag to fumble. He was not turning that down, bro. And John Collins and DeAndre Hunter wasn't going to get it. Yeah, they gave him three hundred and five million to be exact, Breezy. He got the most uh, money in extension history. Ooh, good pitch by Charlie. All right, full count, three, three and two. Oh no, bad. We didn't have a chance to get Jalen Brown. That's just being honest. The Celtics are a better team, and they could give him the most money. It was just up to the Celtics. They actually were going to do it. But there was never a rumor about Jalen Brown being uh, traded after they made it uh, to the Eastern Conference Finals. And Charlie Morrison hit him, man. Here is something you can't understand. Charlie just hit him, man. Nah, it just depends on what area you got in, man. That's all. He's just born in the right time. And just like Magic Man said, guys, please hit that like button. Share this stream out on your socials. Subscribe and follow, depending on what uh, platform you're on. Welcome to the Dixon Way. All right, it's two men on, no outs. Charlie Morris. 
probably scuffing them, man. Probably walking people. He don't walk um, Duval twice. You about to get the bases loaded again? I mean, here's the wind in the pitch. Oh, hot popped in the center field. Money Mike charging. Daring him. Throwing the first base. Double him up. And he going triple play. Triple play. Yes. Clip that, babe. Babe, clip that. Triple play. And the Braves get out of the end on the triple play. Money Mike grab it. Throw it to first base. Tag it out. He trying to run and tag the second base. Going to third base. Throw him out. Let's go, man. The infamous triple play. Great defense. Great defense by the Braves. Let's go, man. And that should spark us. That definitely should spark us. Great defense by the Braves. Getting Charlie Morrison out of that pickle. He definitely was in a pickle, too. NBA max contracts is basically equivalent to the regular person hitting the lotto. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. What's up, Chief? How you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. It's sound for you. Appreciate you coming through. Welcome to the Dixon Way stream. All about the A. Yes, sir. And we got a triple play. That better be number one on Sports Center. It better be on number one on Sports Center and MLB.com. It better be. A triple play, you rarely see those guys. You guys witness a piece of history. You rarely see triple plays. I mean, seriously. You rarely see. Them. There may be like one or two per season in the entire Major League Baseball. Oh, yeah. Money might start it. Coming in, taking away a blooper, full speed, getting it when it looked like it was a blooper. He caught it. And they thought it was a blooper, too, because both of the men was caught with their pants down. Caught it. Money might throw it to first base. Matt Olsen quickly relayed it over the third base. Tagged him out. Let's go, man. All right, here's the wind the pitch. Marcel Ozuna. That ball was way too low. Oh, and he didn't call a strike. I'm surprised. I think that'll spark the brace. I hope so anyway. All right, here's wind the pitch. Marcel Ozuna swinging out his shoes. Marcel Ozuna uh, average is slowly creeping down. And that might be why we're trying to explore getting Adam Duvall back. Duvall also can play left field, uh, has great defense, and or could be the DH. Swing and a miss. One and two is the count. All right, here's the wind the pitch. And I guess they officially scored that as a double play. Marcel Azuna um, lined into, even though it wasn't. By some technicality. All right, here's a wind the pitch. Marcel Azuna fouled that off. Two and two to count. Come on, Marcel. Come on, Marcel. Today could be the day. To win the lottery. Hey, y'all win the lottery. Let me hold some. Get the wind the pitch. Marcel Azuna fouling that off. Battling. All right, I'd like to see Marcel Azuna battle like this. Two and two to count. All right, here's the wind the pitch. Swing. Fouled off. Marcelo Zuna battling. That ball was inside. Um, a little bit high. A little bit high at the letters. Probably had the letters a little bit higher than the letters. All right, two and two still to count. All 
All right, here's the wind to pitch, Marcel Azuna. He pitched it inside. His uh, catcher set up outside. Two and two, still the count. I could go for some sunflower seeds. Marcel Azuna hit it right up the middle. Good hit by Marcel Azuna. Let's go, man. Good hit by Marcel Azuna. Love to see it. I right, got Marcel on. All right, here's a wind the pitch. All low. One and oh is the count. We got a man on first base. No outs. Come on, Eddie Rosario. Got a short porch over there on right field, brother. Here's one in the pitch. Hit it right out the middle. Oh, what a defensive play. Double play. Wow. What a defensive play by the second baseman. Wow. To double him up like that. Just caught it. Flicked it all in one motion. Wow. Well, that sucked. All right, we're down to two outs. They got a double play. We got a triple play. All right, here's a wind the pitch. Way outside. Pavetta is uh, pitching. He up to 49 pitches now. Arcea, one for one. Make that two for two, please. Bad 290 on the season. 10 home runs, 34 RBIs, OPS of 784. All right, here's the wind in the pitch. Oh, he was taking. Nasty change up. Fooled him. 81 mile power on the top half. Top out of half. One and one is the count. All right, Pavetta staring in. He set. Here's the wind in the pitch. Ball on the outside. You better not call that a strike, Blue. He ain't call it. Boston with the OSHA um, jerseys on. Oh, not OSHA. Oh, my goodness. Here's a wind in the pitch. Somebody in the uh, construction field. How about OSHA? <laughs> Here's a wind in the pitch. See, I wasn't going to say that because I didn't think anyone would know what, it, what I was talking about. But yeah, straight OSHA colors. You don't want to see OSHA come on your um, job site. That means y'all been messing up if they got to come out there. Yeah, Pavetta is pitching good, Barry. I wish he wasn't out there, though. All right, Money Mike up. <laughs> Ooh, nasty change up. Ooh, Money Mike. Dropped it in a bucket. Oh, one to count. All right, here's wind the pitch. Change up. Did he hold it? Nope, two strikes. Good pitch. Four and two to count on Money Mike. We got a man on first base, two outs. All right, here's wind the pitch. Out it off, defensive swing. Good play on um, defense, but it's still 0-2 to count. Pavetta up to 56 pitches. On a pitch, two and uh, two-thirds. That's a lot of pitches. Not to give up a run. Here's the wind the pitch. Ball on the outside. Money Mike swung at ball one. Come on, Money Mike. Still 0 2 to count. Reason saying it, yes, indeed. Yeah, you don't want to see them coming. Here's one in the pitch. Yeah, 
Okay, they didn't want to see me coming. I was an inspector. <laughs> but I wasn't OSHA. I wasn't looking for problems. You know what I'm saying? I just make sure things is right. All right. Here's wind the pitch. Try to hit it with that uh, change up again. Try to drop it in the bucket. But Money Mike was on at that time. Still owing to the camp, though. Actually, let me scratch that. Some sites I did. All right, here's the wind the pitch. High fat. He swung at a ball that was in his eyes. Money Mike, why would you swing at that, bro? Why would you swing at that? Um, uh, I say Crawford before. I don't know, man. It, it's a that's a toss up right there. That's a toss up fight. Should be a good fight though. That's a toss up. May the best man win. Appreciate you coming in though, E Love. I see you. Welcome to the stream. That's time to you. And welcome all you guys to the stream, man. This is the Dixon Way, all about the A-Sports Talk. We give you that fire commentary. All our favorite sports team in the ATL. That means the Braves, Hawks, Falcons, and we sprinkle in a little dream, too. Could have on this game because the rain delay was basically the dream game would have been over before this game started. Oh, well. And right now, the Boston Red Sox are up, going to the bottom half of the fourth inning. Two to one, up by one run. Still anybody's game. And uh, Aurora, Arroyo, Wong, and Chang are coming up. Seven, eight, and nine hole. John Brooks, you said it. I ain't really disagree. I was hoping that good comeback win against the Brewers would propel us, you know what I'm saying, getting on the right track. But hey, man. Still a lot of baseball to play. And this game moving around real slow, to be honest. This game is real, real slow. Technical difficulties. The headsets. Both teams getting bases loaded several times. Red Sox got bases loaded twice. Rays had it once and then got two men on with no outs and couldn't. Get across, so yeah. Charlie still on the bump. Fouled off first pitch. Four one is count. Female bat boy or bat girl. Got that good snag too. She that scooped it up. Woo -woo. Uh, here's the wind the pitch. Ball on the outside. One and one is a count. Christian Arroyo up the bat. He one for one. Made a great um, defensive play on that double play last inning. Or at the top of this inning, excuse me. All right, two and one to count, Charlie Morrison. Do not want to walk the leadoff hitter, please. Please don't walk this guy. He's batting 251. Three home runs. OPS mark of the devil. 666. <laughs> you can't make this up. It's really OPS is 666. Triple Six Mafia. All right, two and two to count. Here's the wind in the pitch. Swing. Hit down. Also, Riley, he scoops it up. Throw it across the diamond. Out number one. Let's go. Way to start off right, Charlie. Your, your defense picked you up. You got to pick up your pitching now, Charlie. Your defense definitely picked you up. Pick you up, bro. All right, hold on. Let me unplug this. because. My phone's charged. Don't need to be overcharged. All right, Connor Wong coming up. Still got in the first inning. 
still looks strange with that beard. I gotta admit. He's a clean shaven. Strike one. All right. Oh, strike two. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Popped it up. 94 mile power. Would have been a strike right at the letters. Still owing to the count. Oh, Tampa Bay beat the uh, Marlins. Battle of Florida. All right, here's the one in the pitch. Wong hit it right in the center field, but Money Mike's right there. That's two outs. Two. Yankees got whooped. Getting whooped by the uh, Mets. Nine to three. Oh, wow. And that team does look totally different without Judd, to be honest. This dude Ben uh, 169. Charlie, dispose of him, please. All right. A ball on a um, pitch. On a pitch count. So that's 0 and 2. We only one ball pitch though. But Charlie was too late getting in there. Getting ready. All right, here's the wind the pitch. Charlie, three and oh. Charlie, this dude is betting 160. Like, Charlie, come on, Charlie. Seriously, Charlie? It's two outs, man. It's one. You let this dude call you on a timeout. On a timeout, affect you for three more pitches, bro. Like, all right. know who you pitching against, man? This dude is bad. One sixty. So you couldn't sit the ball on a tee ball and for him to hit it where he wanted to without hitting it to a person. He's thrown five straight balls right now. Wow. Lead off hitter Duran back up. He been uh, like 117 on the season. Here's one the pitch. He's going to steal it. Ball into the outfield. He's going to third base. They're going to score on this, man. And Orlando RC had made the fatal mistake of not going towards the ball instead of letting the ball get to him. You got to attack the ball when you're trying to catch it. Or that happens. They slide into your arm. If you don't, you got to catch the ball first before you tag. Now you got a man on third base. They best hitter on average is they lead off hitter. All right, it's the pitch. Wow, he called that. All right, two and two to count. I can't, I don't know what this dude's strike zone is. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest, man. He's called some very questionable calls on both sides of the um, field, of both teams. All right, good. Oh, man, I thought, I thought Ozzy Alves had that. And that's what happens, man. When you let, the timeout, he called you on a ball for timeout, so you threw three more balls, bro, to a batter that's batting 160-something, man. Raise down three to one now. Down by two. That was a good hit. Ozzy didn't have a chance. Maybe if he would have dole that. Dove at it, but that might have knocked it out of uh, into foul territory. Uh, 
All right. Two out rallies. There you go. Stupid stuff on two outs. He's still in. All right, Great War says, uh, ever since the All-Star break. Why is it not popping up? There it is. Ever since the All-Star break, the Braves are really look like, ooh, they need to focus and get their stuff together. That's true. John Brooks said, I've seen enough of Charlie. That's why I hate rain delays. Yeah. I mean, when a pitcher is ready, he already went through his routine, they got to stop and go back. Like, that's another thing. You shouldn't even play him at the rain delay, to be honest. The older pitcher, he used his routine. He already warmed up. And then you wait an hour. He pitches like almost two hours later. Well, older pitchers, nah. Warm up, get cold, warm up again, nah. They usually don't work out. All right, 3-1 to count is Justin Turner. Might as well walk him, man, because if you don't, he about to hit a single. And this guy that's on base is going to score because he's fast. Oh, now you want to get up token. Here's one the pitch. Yep, he walked in. Yeah, go and put token in, man. Token been the MVP of the um, bullpen anyway. Coach, we just can't get quality stuff. It's a miracle that we are the best team in baseball. It's really a miracle how bad our pitching has been in spurts this season. It's literally been our offense being so dominant. And if we ain't scoring six runs, this is how we look. Swing and a miss, good pitch. Everything was fine and cool because we scoring five, six runs a game and scoring early. So these pitches have a cushion. They can, you know, play around and stuff like that. But now... You've been in some tight games that you have not been scoring early in the season. And we got some of the bats starting to cool down, like Eddie Rosario, like Marcelo Zuna. And Marcelo Zuna is slowly becoming an instant out again, even though he got a great CNI single earlier. So. All right, one and two is a count against Devers. Got two men on, two outs. All this happened with two outs, too. They scored. Up uh, on bloop in. Yep. And that's another score. Well, it's four zip right now. Boston Red Sox up on the Braves. Bottom half of the fourth. Try to put that on the platter. Didn't, didn't have no choice. Or actually he did because it was a one-two count. Who are they bringing out? He put up his left hand. I didn't. I thought Token was a right-hander. They just sent them to the showers. Uh, Great Wars. Yep, sent them to the showers. All right.
Man, thank all of you guys for coming through, man. There's a picture change happening right now. This is the Dixon Way, all about the A-Sports Talk. We give you live commentary of all our favorite sports teams. And then ATL, Rays, Hawks, Falcons, and sprinkling in a little dream. Um, right now, the Atlanta Braves have given up um, two in this inning. It's four to one. We got a three, three run deficit now. Hate to see it. Yeah, most likely Token coming in. He was warming up. Charlie ain't been the same since he broke his leg. Last four um, games, man, he had an ERA of uh, under two. It was like 1.6 something. So he was actually pitching good the last four um, things. But again, I mean, Braves had opportunities to bust this thing open offensively and just can't get it around. Oh, yeah, Mikey, we definitely can do that. Yeah, we can score three in, in the um, one inning real easy. Real quick like. But the Braves got to wake up. They got to make a shape. You know? Hmm. Yeah, and Snip went like this. I'm like, hold up. What left-hander we got? I mean, AJ. Is hurt. Everybody else is right-handers. Yeah, Token was warming up in the pen, so. That's why he kind of confused me. I'm like, hold up. Token's a right-hander. All right, two men on. Still two outs. Token, 94 mile per hour. Got up in there. 0 and 1 is a count. No, Breeze, you're right. They haven't looked the same since the All Star break. They haven't. They have not looked the same since the All Star break. They've only won one series. This is an all-star break, and they had a scratch and call to get that out of Milwaukee Brewers. They lost four out of six games at home coming out of the all-star break. Token almost hit a man. Excuse him. He's winding the pit, and he hit him that time. Base is loaded. Aye, aye, aye. When it rain, it pours, bro. When it rains, it pours. All right. Adam Duvall up the back. Got two walks on the game. And he just check swing. Good catch. Thank you. We got out of it. Little bloop, little half check swing. What in the world, Bo? Yeah, for real. I don't know what's going on, Breezy. Hey, we got out of that one. But yeah, I mean, it could have been much worse, man. Also, Red Sox put two up. Could have been much worse. Uh, four to one right now. Raised down by three runs. We could put up three runs, but we got to make it shake, man. We got to put, we're putting consecutive hits together, but we're not putting, you know what I'm saying, RBI type hits together. That's what we need to do, man. Dang it. Man. John Brooks said, well, this is why I'm so ready for football to start because the Braves are stressing me out. Look, well, see, here's the thing, man. It has to be a balance, bro, because baseball seasons are so long that you can't get too high, get too low. But the Braves uh, definitely look different than how they did 
in the regular season, in the first half of the season, like 110 percent look different. They got to make up for that, man. You know. Pitching has been real bad. It's starting to catch up with us in pitching. First thing that I really noticed is, uh, I don't know, Bryce Elder might have had got found out and figured out. If that happens, that's real bad. So now we back to three bullpen games again. And we're hoping that Charlie Mortensen would be a steady in force. All right, Ronald Cunha up the bat. Over two, swinging at the first thing you saw. That was a ball. What's up, Dog Rice? I see you on TikTok. Welcome back to the stream. <laughs> Ain't just a marathon. It's a triathlon, bro. The captain line. It's the Tour de France. It takes forever. Several different stages. Got it. Ronald Cooney Jr. just watched it. Good pitch. 95 mile per hour. Frozen. Strike three. And Pavetta been dealing, man. Even though he's used a lot of pitches to get out. I mean, he's still doing the job. Ronald Cunha ain't got a hit. Right, Isaiah Albee's up. He 0 for 1 with a hit by pitch. Here's a wind the pitch. Ball. All right, cool. 1 and 0 is a count. The Mets are chipping away at what? The Mets ain't chipping away at nothing. Let me know when the Mets get it uh, within six games. And we still undefeated against them this season, man. Like, like we losing the bad teams, man. Like, not paying attention and just being very lackadaisical against sorry teams. I ain't worried about the Mets, the Martins, or Phillies. I'm not. I'm worried about teams like this. We come in here and playing down our competition. That's what I'm worried about. Good teams, we step up against good teams. And the Mets ain't even a good team. They just a rival. Like, come on, man. I'm not even thinking about them. Yeah, I ain't thinking about the Mets. Yeah, we up like 17 on them, man. The Mets are in the rearview mirror. Yelton, what's going on, Yelton? How you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. This sound of you. <laughs> 0 2 to count. It's one in the pitch. Also, Riley fouled that off. Still 0 2. Ain't nobody collapsed yet. What are you talking about? We got still got plenty of a game to play in this game. Yo, what's up, Debo? How you doing, man? Austin Riley just got a hold of one, but nope, it's a foul. It's a pop-up. That's out. Again, man, I'm not worried about any team in this division. I'm worried about this team underperforming against subpar teams. Even though the Red Sox have been playing better of late, but still. And this is, only thing I'm worried about is this is becoming a pattern playing down the weaker teams. We don't fear these teams. We just think we can roll the ball out there and win. They have more focus against better teams. Don't ask me why. But that's what's happening. 
My pitching been real bad lately, man. Pitching been real bad, and the bats ain't been saving these dudes like they did in the first half of the season. I hate lazy players. Lazy baseball just wasting money. Uh, bad coaching and never pitching support players or coaches and need it. All right, that's fine, man. You got it. Yeah, that's true, man, but still. Yeah, now I will agree with that. The Braves' patience at the plate it's like luster. Like, we don't work the count at all. Now, Ronald's having a magnificent season, but he's the main culprit. Especially since the second half of the season. He's been swinging at everything he see the first pitch. I just popped up, Money Mike charging in, and it's a blooper. Wow. Might be that night tonight, bro. Yeah, to work the pitchers count. Get it get him out the game early. Well, Yelton, I'm gonna be honest. The entire Atlanta Brave team is underpaid. I mean, they just are. This is offense, man. They're underpaid. Like, enormously underpaid. All right, here's the wind the pitch. I mean, think about it. We see here complaining about the best team in baseball because they're starting to struggle a little bit. Things that everybody went through the entire season. It's finally happening to the Braves over the first, what, four series, and people want to panic. No time to panic. All right, let's get that out. Ronald called it. All right, one out, man on first base. They didn't show Ryan Pierce's um, ERA because it's over five. Taylor Hearn and um, Yanni Chineros each got ERAs around uh, 3.6. Um, so that's good. All right, here's the wind the pitch. Swing and a miss. Token. The pitch. On one is count. That money Mike should have caught that. Mm, I don't know, man. Look like he just blooped it right where they couldn't get it. I got a man on first base, one out. On one is the count. Here's a wind of the pitch. Oh, swing, hit it right where they ain't. Hit it right out the middle. Eddie Rosario coming in. He advanced to third base. Eddie Rosario got a weak arm, so that definitely uh, was gone. The other said, I'm a firm believer of performance bonus pay. Nah, I don't agree with that, Yelton. I don't agree with that because the players are the product. If they get hurt, then they get no money. And that no. I don't I don't agree with that at all. The reason why we all watch, the reason why there's such big money in any kind of sports is because of what these players can do. And just like that, a single and token looking bad now, man. I'm pitching. That's the problem right now. 
Damn, we ain't scoring, but I mean, it's five to one right now. Oh, it's been two hours, bro. Hold on, it's been three hours. We started at 8.45. I'm where it's been, uh, my bad. It's been two hours. Yeah. Yeah, it's been two hours, man. It's the fifth inning. It's like an old school baseball game right here. I guess that just fit. We in Fenway. Old school stadium for old school game. Here's one in the pits. Popped it up. Got two men on, one out. I don't know what to tell you, John Brooks. I mean, every team goes through this. It's a reason why the only moves that the Braves have made right now was pitching. I mean, that's a reason. For all these guys they got is like luster. We didn't get another starter. And we didn't get a dominant um, closer or, or middle relief guy. Swing and a miss, right? The pitch by token. All right, Duran finally struck out. Right, he won for three for the day. I got two men on, two outs. What are we going to do? Oh, Lord, Justin. Oh, my goodness. Justin Turner coming up. Game ain't over yet, John Brooks. I ain't throwing in no towel. Yeah, uh, also performance bonus will cause more injuries too. Yeah, but people will play uh, with more injuries, thus getting hurt, thus not having the best players on at the right time. So, yeah. What's up, Santi on Rubble? Appreciate you coming through. Welcome to the stream. He said, yo, I'm saying yo back with a sound. Welcome to the stream. The other said, where's Alex Anthopoulos at on vacation? The players uh, Alex traded have zero talent. We'll see, man. I mean, people say, a lot of people said that. He said, probably should have kept Kenley. Oh, my goodness, Justin. Did he hit it over the monster? Nope. He would have. He hit it out the stadium, but it was a foul ball. If he was straightening that thing out, it would have went over the monster. And the sign that's on top of the monster. Goodness gracious. Should have kept uh, smiling out of Gosman. All right, fouled off. Two and two to count. And do like Magic Man said, guys. Appreciate all you guys coming through, man. Please hit that like button, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, ding, ding. Get all our latest videos. Also, make sure you share this out to the multiverse. Make sure that Loki and all them are the strains. Come and watch the stream. Hope you guys enjoying it. All right. Token of the 20 pitches here. The wind the pitch. Justin. Fouled it off. Still 2-2 two two to count. Uh, Debo said, oh, I hold on. Hell, at least arguably the best division in baseball. The Red Sox will be soundly in uh, second place in a lot of division. Uh, stop the Red Sox to landing. Okay. I mean, y'all are, I understand y'all division is, is really good. I understand that, but still. I'm looking at it from my team perspective. But I know you got a got a lot of guys that beat up on the Braves, especially this dude right here that's up the bat with this red beard. 
I was so glad that he left the Dodgers. I'm like, oh Lord, he on on Boston. Are you gonna? Gonna pay us some mind today. Warren talks to himself. A lot of pitchers talk to themselves. It's one of the pitch fouled off. This is a battle right here, man. Three and two to count. Where all that World Series money gone to? Uh, went to paying all these players long deals, you know? Braves really don't spin like that, guys. It's a mirage on the Braves spinning. Two of their best players making way on the... Does, oh, he popped it up, though. Thank goodness. All right, that's out. All right. That's the end of the fifth inning. Braves down by four runs, five to one. I don't think we'll see Token again. And that's that's the worst inning by Token this season. I mean, it's bound to happen. It's just all of this is happening at the same time. Charlie looking bad. Bullpen bad. Offense not scoring. And to be honest, after, I mean, it does look like the Braves are still in Seattle right now. I mean, that's been the case since the All-Star break started. Starting off with the um, Chicago White Sox, who beat the Braves two out of three in Atlanta. And then the Diamondbacks doing the same thing. Oh, yeah, the Orioles playing real good, man. But again, guys, it's ebbs and flows. You can't. Marathon, it's a, it's a doc. The Catalan. It's the entire Olympic Games. <laughs> With baseball, bro. It just is. What's up, Braves Gator? How you doing, man? I'm doing good, man. Wish these braids would do better. I'm doing great. That sounded for you. Appreciate you coming through on TikTok. I'll tell you. All right, let's go, man. Matt Olson leading the um, National League in home runs and in RBIs this season. All right, top half of the sixth inning. Braves got to make a shape. All right, here's the one in the pitch. And another thing that's real telling, Braves on the win around. This is their second time going around. Uh... Oh, no, third time, excuse me. Going around the lineup. Here's the wind the pitch. Out off. One and one is a count. What's up, Matt Hawkins? How you doing? I ain't get ahead of myself, bro. I appreciate you coming through, but... Braves got to get healthy, man. Here's the wind the pitch. Braves had knit net injuries the entire season. Surprising that they had the best record in Major League Baseball only because of the offense. Pitching's been scuffling all season. But now the bats go cold. That's going to be a problem. All right, here's one in the pitch. Matt Olsen golfing. Swinging at a ball that was at his shoe tops. That's out number one. Oh, man, I'm doing great, man. Why does Brian Snicker look like um Hank Hill? No, he look like Hank Hill dad. Love me some uh, King of the Hill. That's my show, bro. King of the Hill, back in the day. 
Bobby. Come here, Bobby. What was his dad name, though? I can't remember his dad name. But he was straight looking like his dad right there. Man, don't talk about her feet, man. Come here, Bobby. Chilling in the back. Drinking a cold one. All right, Sean Murphy fouling off 0-2 to count. Man, Boston Red Sox pitchers, after that first inning, we had bases loaded in that crazy play. I don't know what happened. They still really ain't explaining it. I have to hear that explanation after the game when I turn up the volume. All right, 0-2 to count against Sean Murphy. as has winding the pitch ball way outside. He got pitches to play with. He don't care. The vet have been dealing, though. Propane and propane accessories. <laughs> That's my purse. I don't know you. Oh, and Sean Murphy out swinging a miss. Out number two. Look like the Braves need to say that. That's my purse. I don't know you. King of the Hill. All right, Marcel Azuna up the bat. Here's the wind the pitch. Marcel Azuna looking at one, popped it up. Going to the sideline. Did he catch it? Yep, he caught it. That's out number three. Good catch. All right, that's one, two, three. Raids go down. Going to the bottom half of the sixth inning. Boston Red Sox up. And early this season, on um, the Braves played to a 1 1 tie, 1 1 series tie early this season. What's going on, Todrick? I see. Nah, that was quick. That was a quick hit in uh, Matt Hawkins. Yeah, Charlie was not on his game tonight, Todrick. Not at all. He was not on his game. And neither are our bats right now. Our bats being very impatient, getting themselves out. Look like a book might have been made on the pitching and the hitting. Let's see. Let's see. Going to the bottom half of the sixth inning. Red Sox up by four runs. Out of one. And we got Devers, Yoshida, and Duvall coming up. The three, four, and five hitters. Dang it, Bobby. <laughs> oh, man, I just dropped my remote. Remote. That's all right. I ain't got to turn up the volume anymore. Now, Tajik, I ain't going to say the offense sucked. Now, tonight it has. But, I mean, we scored 13 runs and lost the game, bro. I don't think our offense sucks. Right now, we're not playing well. But I don't think our offense sucks. B.A., what's going on? How you doing? Welcome on TikTok. I see you. Welcome to the screen. Appreciate you coming through. Oh, you think about tonight? Yeah, yeah, tonight. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we lost, uh, what, 6-5 one game to the Brewers. So, yeah. And Hawkins said, uh, the Falcons wearing a red throwback three times this year. Okay. All right, here's the winding pitch. Token still in there. Wow. And they just sacrifice. They sacrificing token. That token usually come in for three or four innings when you come in. So going and being there for three or four innings. That's tough. Here's the one in the pitch. Popped it up. All right, Money Mike got that. All right, that's one out.
Yeah, I know they handled the um the Mercury. Could have did that game because um the rain out was so long. Yep. And I think they're like six in the WNBA, so they're in the playoff position. So hopefully they keep it. Hopefully we have some playoff games to broadcast. All right, here's a wind the pitch. Swing and a miss. One and two is the count. Token up to 32 pitches. The sheet up the bat. Here's a wind the pitch. He kind of give it that look. But he don't have that like wide stance like each row. But he does swing and run at the same time. Play deliberately on 30 on Thursday. Okay. Here's the wind the pitch. Ball hit right down the line. Yeah. He kind of reminds me of Ichiro. When he's swinging, he's running. That's really weird, but, I mean, it works for him. Got to have a lot of good hand-eye coordination to be hitting and starting to run. Like he hit it, and he's right in the motion. Hit the contact. He ain't worried about power. Just get it up in there. Frankie said these innings for Token could be huge if tomorrow night game is close. Well, here's the problem. Token used to come in in every game. Or every other game. So that's out number two. Popped it up. First base. Got on first base. Did not advance. All right, that's two. But it might with two um, catches in the outfield. And here comes the problem. We get two outs. Can we get that third out? A lot of these runs have been made on um, two outs. That's really been the problem, man. Getting out of two out situations. That's definitely been a problem this season, not just um, the second half of the season. All right. Good defense. Throw them out. All right. Way to get out of that inning, not scoring nothing. But the Braves still down four runs out of one. One of those games I wish Mr. Red Sox had a golf ball so we can get back in the game. We'll see, man. All right. Going to the top half of the second, seventh. All right, we got to make a shape. Got to make it shake now, man. Only nine more outs left in the game. So, definitely got to make it shake now. Barbecue and mildew time. No relic cap yet. Oh, no, we definitely don't need Yates coming in there throwing no golf balls. We need somebody equivalent to Yates coming in for Boston. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, I agree with that. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for coming through. Chilling with your boy. Red Sox. And firmly in control. After the brace had bases loaded. And some Tom Foolery. Tom Foolery happened. I'm definitely going to have to listen to the replay. To find out how they officially scored that. And guys. We got a triple play. And we're losing this game badly. That's going to be the highlight of the game. Braves turned a triple play. And they losing the game by four runs. That's crazy. I mean, that's going to be the number one play on Sports Center for sure. Or it might not be because it's a whole bunch of 
Bostonians in the ESPN media conglomerate. So, and ESPN is in Bristol. So, yeah. Yeah. Nothing but Northeast biases. Is the one in the pitch. Eddie Rosario swinging at the first thing he saw, getting himself out. Good job, Eddie. He didn't even give it a chance. The swing at the first thing you saw. You know what, guys? You can't hit a four-run home run with nobody on base. So you guys need to work the count to get on base. And at least Orlando's Garcia took. That was a perfect pitch on the outside lower corner. On oh, one's account. All right, here's wind the pitch. Ball inside, didn't go for that. Good eye by Orlando Garcia. This is Blyer. A Blier. I don't know how you pronounce his name. It's wind the pitch. Ball inside again. Good eye by Garcia. On one account. All right, is this where we um, get our mojo back? I see a one for one with a walk and a single. All right, here's the wind the pitch. Ball low. All right, three and one to count. I see a sitting dead green on this one. Just don't swing at no jump. All right, here's the wind the pitch. Ball straight down the middle. Then swing couldn't get the bat off his shoulder. All right, three and two to count. All right, here's the wind the pitch. Arcia got a hold of one. It's going back, back to the wall. Oh, he's he stole that home run from the short porch. Adam Duvall doing his old team dirty. Wow, good catch by Duvall. That's the first triple play since. Uh, that's the first eight five three triple play. This is eighteen eighty four. Oh wow. The Bean Eaters had one. Wow, that's a good crispy nugget right there. Appreciate that, Frankie. What's up, Ken Ross? That sounded for you, bro. Both to the stream. Yeah, I hope you the good luck charm, bro. All right, Michael Harris over two. Here's wind the pitch. Swinging at the first thing he saw. Up, threw it over. Way to beat out that run by Michael Harris. Great hustle down the line. Great hustle down the line. I don't think they're going to score that at um, an error. Devers threw it. Oh, yeah, that was an error. Yeah, that was a throwing error. Definitely. I think Money Mike beat that out, though. Yeah, Money Mike would have beat that out anyway. But it definitely was an error. Dang it. Oh, they said it. They called a um, a single. Okay, cool. All right, Ron Acuna Jr. is 0 for 3. He definitely do. All right, here's the wind the pitch. Ball inside. Good eye by Ronald. Hey, Ron Acuna not swinging on the first thing he saw? On the first two things he saw? Imagine. Come on, Ronald. Act like you the MVP, bro. Oh, Money Mike with a steal. He going to third. Now, that was an error on the throw. Let's go. Money Mike causing havoc on the base pads. Let's go, man. Great steal by Money Mike. 3-0 to count. They finna walk. They finna walk. Yeah, he wasn't getting Money Mike anyway. Money Mike was... That base was stolen. He should have put that in his pocket. All right. And Ronald Cunha Jr. walks. And Carrera is coming out. Alice Carrera is coming out. What's up, Ryzen Ronald? How you doing, fam? Welcome to the stream. Appreciate you coming through. I'm going to give you that sound. 
Y'all check out Rise of Rhino. Got that good commentary. Rhino, I see you starting to dabble in baseball. Okay. Mr. Football. Dabbling in baseball. No, no, that's all right. You late? No worry about it, man. Appreciate you coming through, though. I mean, this game did have like a almost two-hour delay, you know? Yep. Almost a two-hour delay and the first, like, three innings, it was a whole bunch of runners on. They had technical difficulties with the catcher, with his earpiece. So, yeah. But I appreciate all you guys coming through. Either you've been here since the rain delay, or you're just coming in, man. Thank all of you guys for coming through. Welcome to the Dick's Way stream. Darius on uh, TikTok, appreciate you coming through. Let me give you that sound. Yep, two hour delay, bro. Yeah, it feel like we on the West Coast right now. And like mentally, I wasn't ready. It literally was like, I was about to, you know, piece up A-Town down. And then... I saw all the grounds crew run out and start rolling up the tarp. I was like, oh, we about to get some baseball. But then it took 45 minutes after that. So. And you would think being in a small hitter's, um, Stadium like this that the Braves offense would tee off, but nah, man. Um, Boston Red Sox have been pitching excellent, excellent pitching. The jet lag feeling, yeah, basically. You know what? I don't get jet lag, man. I guess I've been on so many flights. I really don't get jet lag. To be honest. Is one in the pitch. Ozzy Albies fouls that off. Swing it at the first pitch. 0-1 is a count. Got hit by pitch in the first inning, scored a run. He 0 for 2 other than that. Ozzy Albies averages down to uh, 255. All right, one in the pitch. Oh, that went off. That was good. Because that was a strike regardless. On to the count. He just couldn't catch up to it. Oh, you have jet lag feeling, Breezy. Okay, you're fighting to stay awake. Oh, okay. We're going to lay it down, brother. Appreciate you coming through. Here's a wind in the pitch. Ronald Cooney Jr. steals another base. That's number 48. All right, it's two outs. And we got a man on second and third. If Ozzy Alves can get a single here, we'll score two runs easy. So you got to get a single. I couldn't hear what you said, babe. Um, Breezy, you gonna be at training camp, Breezy? All right, two and two to camp. Come on, Isaiah Alves. Let's go, bro, bro. Yeah, he said yes. All right, here's one in the pitch. Swing and a miss at a half fast ball. I've been saying it plenty of times. Isaiah Alves is susceptible to swing at that half-ass ball. 
Thing be at his chin and he be swinging at it. He like that picture. Yeah, right on my red jersey is a cream jersey. Just didn't feel like wearing it today. Also, um, guys, I got the Atlanta Falcon jersey on because uh, we got training camp uh, coming up on Thursday. And we should be live. Hopefully, we'll be live around uh, 10 o'clock. A.M. on Thursday for the first training camp of the Atlanta Falcons as football season officially starts uh, for the NFL. The training camp starting. I know you've been in football season all year round, Rhino. That's your thing. Yes, sir. But yeah, NFL season is starting. So we can't wait. We're going to have we're going to be there live at the Falcons in Flowery Branch at the Falcons training camp for the first three days. So, yeah, please check us out in the morning. Breezy said, rise up, Atlanta. That's right, Breezy. I see you on TikTok. Rise up. Appreciate it, Rhino. Gotta have Ritter make that step in year two. Yeah, we'll see. Hopefully, got the weapons around to do it. Just gotta make it shape. Gotta have Arthur uh, Smith draw out the right plays to make the young kid um, do good. Coach him up. That's what we need right now. We need Coach Arthur Smith to coach up um, Des Ritter to reach his potential, whatever it may be. All right, Carlos Christian Arroyo up. Looking at strike one. Good pitch by Joe Jimenez. Yo, Joe. What was that from, guys? What was that little saying from? All right, here's a wind the pitch. And it's his mile per hour straight down the middle. Fouled it off. 0-2 is the count. I eat one for three with an RBI single in the first inning. Let's make that one for four, please. Here's a wind in the pitch. Foul that off. Nice his mile per hour. Can Ronald get to it? Nope. Weird, weird corner in Boston. All right, Ken Ross say I's from G.I. Joe. You are correct, sir. Ding, 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 ding. All right, on to the count. Here's one in the pitch. Swing and a miss. Good pitch by Joe Jimenez. <laughs> it's not the first strike or out that's a problem. It's that third out that's been a problem for the, uh... hey man, go PP. Go PP. Go PP. You look right at me. You just turned over. Okay. I will lay back down then. And no one has had the battle. That's right. P.I. Joe. <laughs> it's one in the pitch. Swing and a miss. Good pitch by Joe. 0-2 to count. Come on, Joe. We needed this, bro. We needed this bad. Oh, my goodness. They said the live was disconnected due to inactivity on, on TikTok. What? I've been sitting here talking the whole time. Wow. Wow, TikTok. For real? Are right, we gonna start that back up? Hey, we back on TikTok. Uh, TikTok kicked me off saying for inactivity. I've been sitting here talking and moving the whole time. 
All right, uh, one in, one in O's account. Wow, that's crazy. TikTok just felt like kicking me off for some reason. Yeah, that's crazy. I don't know. That's absolutely crazy. They kicked me off. Is one in the pitch. Swing in the miss. Good pitch by Menez. Welcome back, TikTok. Don't know what happened. But uh, TikTok said, I got kicked off for inactivity. I've been sitting here commentating for almost three hours. <laughs> Here's one in the pitch. Popped it up. I know I've been talking. Since uh seven oh four. Well, that's crazy. I appreciate y'all coming through. Everybody populating back in. Thank you guys for coming to the Dixon Way. All about the eight sports talk. Right now the Braves are down five to one. Joe Jimenez up, pitch two and two to count. That was low and outside. All right, here's the wind the pitch. Got him. Yeah, he went. Got him. Get him up out of there. Let's go. Good pitch by Joe Jimenez. Strike it outside. Let's go. Yo, Joe. Good stuff by Joe. G.I. Joe Jimenez. Let's go. All right, so that's the end of the seventh inning. Oh, yeah, I didn't grace you guys with my singing. Oh, well, missed the opportunity. I'm slacking. <laughs> my bad. Hey, babe, did you get the, um, the lottery ticket? Okay. Hey, if any of you watches win the lottery, let us hold some. Let me hold some. Got Sauce Gardner in the place. What's up, Sauce? Y'all going to make the uh, playoffs this year, Sauce Gardner, on TikTok? Willie D. Willie D from um, the Ghetto Boys. How much is it? Almost a billion. 820 million, Breezy. It's too late now. I mean, it's already at the 11. Yeah, eight hundred and twenty million. You win that, man, just let us hold a million. I mean, what are you gonna miss? You ain't missing no million, you got a eight hundred and something million. You ain't missing a million. Let me hold a million. Oh my goodness, great defense by Devers. Also, Riley hit a rope. First pitch, though, we ain't working no uh, camp. Man, you a single winner, you get 800 and something million dollars. Let me hold a million. We good. Y'all see a super green screen? It'll be like. ESPN in this piece. We have a production team, then I don't have to do this.
That is true. We we'll still have the green screen stuff, though. Get us another monitor or two set up. Out it off. 0 2 to count. Man, the Braves just. I mean, this dude, what? You got four pitches? You only like. Oh, my goodness, man. I don't know what's going on. I, I hope our offense don't slump all at once. That'll be real bad, especially with our pitching. All right, here's the wind the pitch. Ball way on the outside, yeah. I mean, we've had this success this season because of our bats, not because of our pitching. And playing with a lead, you know what I'm saying? Pitchers have more confidence if your team come out and score three runs in the first inning. You know? All right, here's the wind the pitch. Out it off, two and two, still the count. Great War said live stream from a private jet or something. I don't know about that. Man, Hogan said they just need to get back home. But, I mean, we lost four out of six games at home. So, I mean, this is a two-game series. So. Top half of the eighth inning. We got five more outs left in this game to score on four runs. Tied up. Here's one the pitch. Man, Olsen got a hit. Good single. Could that be the start of something? Let's see. Mm-hmm. Well, you're going to get up and look at me and go potty. Go potty. You're going to get up and look at me. Go potty. Go to mama. Go potty. Here you come, babe. Go to the bathroom, pee pee. Go pee pee in the potty. All right, 0 1 to count. Here's the wind the pitch. Ball low. And this dude's strike zone is all over the place. I don't know what he's going to call a ball and strike. It unchanged from inning to inning, to be honest. Here's the wind the pitch. Sean Murphy just popped one up. That's out number two. That's out number two. I'm gonna lay back down. Okay. Good job. All right, Marcel Azuna up the bat. Rodriguez with 12 pitches. Here's the wind the pitch. Strike. Right down the middle. On one is count. <laughs> we ain't trade our mojo for some magic beans, did we? Magic man, not magic beans. Whatever mojo the Braves had before the All Star game seems to be gone. They traded their mojo for some magic beans. Womp womp. The magic beans go sound like this. All right, two and one's account. Good eye, Marcel. Here's one to pitch. Marcel swung at ball number three. Two and two to count now. Can't get the beans back, bro. Once you get the beans, you got them. You know what they're good for. They're good for your heart. And swing and a miss. No 
know what else they good for. <laughs> All right, man, that's the end of the uh, top half of the eighth inning. Going to the bottom half. Braves down by four runs against the Boston Red Sox. Out of one. Don't love to see that. I appreciate all you guys coming through, man. Welcome to the Dicks Away. All about the A Sports Talk. We give you live commentary of all our favorite sports teams in the ATL. Rays, Hawks, Falcons. Rays right now, still look like they still at the All-Star break. All them pass on the bats need to turn the kicks in the rear end. Get their stuff together. Now, all I can say, running people out the room. Yeah, that's that's how the um, Braves, Braves pitching and defense looking. Like somebody let one go in, in the um, dugout. Beans, beans, good for your heart. Good for that and good for pump. Oh. <laughs> and the Braves feeling like me, man. They didn't know they was going to play a West Coast game today. It's 11.26 Eastern Standard Time. A lot of crickets out, babe. Okay. The crickets is chirping how bad the Braves is playing. And why would y'all bring it? I would not. Why did you bring out Hernandez right now? Why are you bringing this dude in? Man, I like Hernandez. He came in and struck out three people on 20 pitches. Yeah, Hernandez. Yeah. What's your, how you pronounce your name, dude? Jatala? Appreciate you coming through, man. Appreciate that follow on TikTok. Welcome to the stream. It's down for you. Huh? On oh, Twitch, my bad. On oh, Twitch. I said TikTok, my bad. Appreciate that follow on Twitch, man. I see you. Say hello so I can highlight your chat, man. All right. Good pitch by Hernandez. 3 and 0 this count. John Brooks coming in hot. Talking about this team is garbage shoot. Ah, Lee, John. John, always. I popped up. Who got it? Oh, that's out. Eddie Rosario still in the game for some reason. Don't know why. Time for defense. I guess they like we still need offense. All right. First four batters. Hernandez face. He done sat him down. Love to see it. Just going a little phase. That's all, man. I'm not worried. Here's a wind in the pitch. 95 mile per hour outside. When it always account. Mm -hmm. All right, here's the wind the pitch. Uh, Murphy dropped that ball. All right, two and always account. Come on, Hernandez. On the plate. Justin Turner up the bat. DH. Always getting the Braves problems with his red beard. First with the Dodgers, now with the Red Sox. 3-0 the count. He ain't never going to get cheated out of that bat either. Always hit for average with pop. That wasn't a strike. Where's this dude strike zone at? That literally was strike right at the letter. Are you kidding me?
Happy birthday, Jace. How you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. I even give you a sound, man. Right, number two. There you go. One, two. Now, that's looking like the Hernandez I know. Let's get a double play right here. Why would Adam the ball come back? Michael Connor said, go Eagles. Appreciate you coming through. Welcome to the stream on TikTok. That sounds good. If I'm out on the ball, why would I come back to a team that's struggling? They help him out. I mean, he a brave at heart anyway. Duck him out. Good pitch by Hernandez. I didn't think he went, but he went. Oh, yeah, he definitely went on the replay. Yeah, he went. All right, two outs, man, on first base. We can get two outs. We just got to get the third out. This is when uh, the Red Sox have been doing their damage. All right, all on one is the count. All right, here's the line of pitch. Oh, hit right down the line. That's a home run. Yep, on that short porch. Yep, and that's a two-run shot with two outs. And like I said, Yoshida get over that short porch. Wow. Braves lose 7-1 to one right now. All right. Yeah, my son already wrapped up in the, in the sheet. Kiss the baby. <laughs> Grab that baby. Uh, no. Make sure you birth the baby. Good. Wrap him up. Swaddle him. Swaddle the baby. Swaddle the baby up. Put him to sleep. Make sure that blanket is warm, too, with some warm milk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Put some cereal in that uh, milk. They have a full belly. They sleep nice and comfortable. Having the ball up. And John Brooks like, see, why would Adam Duvall try to come back to this? Because this team in third place in the hardest division in baseball, maybe that's come over to the uh, National League East and help the Braves go to the championship. Uh-oh. One and two is a count. Got two outs. Can we get out of this inning? Swing. The ball hit it right past Matt Olson. The ball giving this old team the business. Straight fizzle. Just seeing that inside out hit by Adam the ball. And he normally don't hit balls like that inside out. He's a poor hitter. Breezy said the baby going all the way to sleep back to Atlanta. <laughs> he ain't let, never lied, though. Now Olsen got it. Step on the bag. That's out. But the damn has been done. The baby going to sleep. Red Sox up by six. Runs. Seven to one. Pitching, defense, and offense all failed them. All three phases of the game failed the Braves tonight. As the second half after the All-Star break, Wolves continue. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -mm. I think, hold on, let me see. No, that ain't Snicker. I don't know who that is. That ain't Snicker. Nah, don't put him on there. <laughs> That's somebody granddaddy. You sure? Yeah, that ain't that don't look like Snit to me. That ain't Snit. All right, so the Braves coming up. And you know Kenny Jansen about to come out. More former Braves trying to give us the business, the business. Eddie Rosario, Orlando Arcia, and Michael Harris the second are up to bat. Let's see what we got. And thank all of you guys coming through. I'm Larry. And we're the Dixons. This is the Dixon way, all about the eight sports talk. We give you live commentary on all our favorite sports teams. Braves, Hawks, Falcons. We're going in a little drink too. So um right now we down to our last three outs. Beautiful wife Shonda said that she'll be there Thursday. She said she'll be on screen person and not just the um voice or the chat voice. I know, baby. All right, on one is count. Kevin Pilar in the in there. Swing it, hit down the third base line, foul ball. I mean, I don't know why they took out Eddie Rosario when I mean he's a better hitter than Kevin Pilar. Here's a wide in the pitch. Swing and a miss on three pitches. Oh, it wasn't even um chilling. They didn't even put pull, pull out Jansen. They like, man, the lead too big. I'm not coming out on that. I don't get a save. Rodriguez out there. Staying in there. All right, Orlando Arcia up the bat. You gonna swing at the first thing? Nope. He took it. I think Orlando Arcia is the only one that takes, and that's why he gets the first pitch strikes. Everybody else get right off the plate. Pop it up or swing at a bad ball. All right, here's the wind the pitch. Ooh, now that was nasty. That was actually a good call by the blue. Wow, surprising. Going to the count. Yeah, the braids going. Yeah, the baby kiss, bro. <laughs> the baby's kiss. Yep, swing chop. Yeah. Baby kiss and he sleep. He's snowing. That baby's snowing. That baby letting it go. He couldn't. Than wood right now. <laughs> <laughs> that baby that cutting. Is the one. What is it? Like mm -mm. Hey. And Lando Arcia hit one up the middle. Can this start a rally? Matt Hawkins said, uh, where is Falcons training camp these days? Used to be in Furman University years ago. I was going to be in Flowery Branch, man, so check it out. We'll be there for the first three days. Starting on Thursday morning, bright and bushy tail. We'll be out there, so. Tune in on YouTube. Or Twitch, yeah. All right, Money Mike up the bat. Here's the wind the pitch. Good eye by Money Mike, not swinging at that. One and Noah's account. You'll be watching Matt Hawkins. Cool, cool, cool. All right, here's one the pitch. All the way inside. Two and oh, good eye by Money Mike. Yeah, we got a true play and got blown out. Imagine. Yep, here's a one in the pitch. Ball straight down the middle, two and one to count.
I am Money Mike trying to get on base by hook or by crook. <laughs> All right, it's wine the pitch. I don't know what it is because it froze. <laughs> oh, look like Money Mike got a hit. Let's go, Money Mike. Love to see it. Orlando Arcia advances the third base, so we got two men on. Men on the corners with one out. Money Mike with a blooper. Love to see that. Good hit by Money Mike. All right. Well, we got the top half of the lineup coming back up. What y'all going to do? Barbecue a meal do. And Killing Jess is warming up now. They're like, hold up. Wait a minute. Ronald Cunha. There's a short porch over there on right field. Why don't you hit it over there, please? You like hitting it center or right center anyway. You're over three. Make it one for four, please. All right, here's the wind the pitch. Ball on inside. Should have been a strike, but they ain't call it. Thank you. <laughs> one and oh is a count. Come on, Braves. All right, here's the wind the pitch. Why would you swing at that, Ronald? That ball went over your toes, barely. One and one is a count. Ronald Cooney Jr. foul one off. One and two is a count. Ronald. All right, it's wind the pitch. Ronald Cooney Jr. fouled that off. That was definitely a strike. Way to put a bat on it. That was strike three. All right, we got one out, two men on base. Here's winding the pitch. Good eye, not swinging at that. Thank goodness it's two and two to count. Two, two. Come on. Somebody wake that baby up. <laughs> I bet. Here's winding the pitch. Got him. Yeah, he got you. That was a great pitch. That was a great pitch. Ronald yeah. Cleaning caught looking. And Ronald knew it. That's why he threw his head back. He knew it. Funny how you take it on that, but not take it on the first pitch. Here's the one in the pitch. 91 mile per hour, straight down the middle. Oh, one one account. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, here's the wind the pitch. We down to our last out. And it's 0-2 right now. Uh, somebody tried to wake up the baby, but the baby said, no. Nah. Did just what my son did. Went to the bathroom, came right back, laid down. 0-2 <laughs> to count. Here's the wind the pitch. Isaiah Alves hit it to center field. That's a pop-up. And that's the end of the game. Braves lose. L's in the chat. 7-1. Uh, Braves will dominate this game in pitching and in hitting. Very lackluster game by the Atlanta Braves. The only mustard, what? How many hits did we hit? have? Well, of course not enough, babe. Oh, no, we had nine hits. 
We had nine hits and one run. That's inexcusable. But the Boston Red Sox had 12 hits. So, yeah, they outclassed us in pitching and in hitting. So, yeah, it is what it is. Appreciate you, Magic Man, as always. Magic! All right, then, Matt Hawkins said, Max Herbert. Hey, man, one pitcher ain't going to do it. You need Bryce Elder to return back to what he was doing. And this team need to wake up. And there's no possibility of winning this series now. They could tie it by winning tomorrow. The Braves lose this West Coast swing. Oh, my bad. It's the East Coast game. Felt like the West Coast game. But, yeah. Uh, Braves scored in the first and didn't score no more. They had several opportunities with men on base. But then scope. But they ain't gonna change. Hey, shout out to the Red Sox taking care of the Braves today. Uh, for better, it's a magnificent job coming in uh, with five innings pitch, no hit ball. So yeah, five strikeouts, one ball. Charlie Morrison scuffling. Record goes to ten and seven. Uh, three and three and three quarter innings pitch, six hits. Four runs, one strikeout. Well, strikeout pitcher only having one strikeout and five balls. There you go. That's how you lost the game. That is how you lost the game, bro. Yeah. All right, guys. You guys take it easy, man. As always, guys, I'm going to chunk the deuces at you. Peace up. A-Town down. Deuces. We'll see you guys tomorrow for game number two. Over the Braves can end up with a split of a two-game series. One to one.